Mask on, trash mom. Been a minute since we hit the liquid gas strong. Backwood, gas strong. Shit, I just pray the Lord forgive me when my ass gone. Mask on, trash mom. Been a minute since we hit the liquid gas strong. Backwood, gas strong. Shit, I just pray the Lord forgive me when my ass gone. Give me, give me, give me, give me all your motherfucking money, bitch. Mobbing people, curtain hoodie, yeah, we run this shit. Police working that surveillance on my mother's crib. Right up on the where I learned to make an onion flip. But I ain't stressing it, actually feeling excellent. Back to this getting president's faded into the death of shit. But y'all just realize that it's motherfucking crazy season. Bitch, I was raised to heathen, no room slain, we not believing. Seen a lot of crazy shit back where I live, yo. Dealing at the windows Watch your pockets and be cautious of them winds lows Filled with toxins at the ops Get your motherfucking mask on Trash mob Been a minute since we hit the liquid gas strong Backwood Gas strong Should I just pray the Lord forgive me when my ass gone Close to a cast if we active And you just rapping like I'm ghost in the bronze And you cowards ain't got the action Back in the booth and attacking the track to smash up your back Episode 15 <laughs> of the Roach Room Podcast. So bad. What the hell just happened? I went to change my fucking hat and it slammed the fuck out of my ear. Damn. That that really sucks. <laughs> Yo, what's up everybody? Roach Room Podcast, episode 15. Hell yeah. We got uh, just me and Hank Tickler here, coming from Captain Cream himself. Uh, we got a, a pretty good podcast it's gonna uh, be, scheduled for you guys it's gonna be today. A good one, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Um, so, we got... We, we saw Joker this week. We got Apex Season 3 that came out, and me and Chris are actively doing um, Sober October, hmm. which is challenging, <laughs> I, dude, I, <laughs> to say the least. The first the first two days, dude, I was like, I was in hell. Yeah, let's I can't, talk about uh, Dude, I honestly, quick. I cannot imagine what you're going through, because all I have to worry about is nicotine. Yeah. Because um, I, I can do without alcohol, I can go have a beer, but when I go have a beer, I want a cig. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I think, uh, I forget what day it was, I think it was the third day, but I posted that Snapchat video of me, like, just profusely sweating, just, like, in that AC. That doesn't happen every day? No, not at that all. It doesn't? No. Not in AC. <laughs> you, don't, was, you don't get cold sweats at all, usually? I mean, if I don't take, like certain pills then no um like if i like i'll like i'll pop a xanax before i go to sleep and that'll usually help me sleep and that's why recently like i've been up until like two or three every night is because i i just i literally like can't sleep yeah no thanks on that yeah um but yeah so other than uh, that other than that how, how, do, how the fuck do you feel sir <sighs> um <laughs> You know, it's weird because, like, I've noticed that with myself, like, normally, like, if I'm not doing Sober October, I guess, like, when people talk to me, it takes me, like, maybe, like, two seconds to process what they're saying, and I've noticed that without me, like, without doing anything or whatever, no drinking or nothing, like, I'm literally, like, as soon as someone, like, says something to me, it's instant processing it, and I'm just, like, replying back. Mm-hmm. Like in, in like conversation and I've just noticed things like that where it's I just feel sharper like so do you well what do you think that is is, is that a lack of what drug mm, would could be a would, lot would we um make I, you go back to like revert going back to like taking a, a, a couple seconds and taking probably, a step back yeah yeah probably a little bit um but I, th- I, I just think, look that's, that's never a bad thing to I mean yeah you, you want to fast reply to people but yeah, I like, mean, but also you don't also want to watch what the fuck you say. I think people with, are sensitive pussies. Yeah, like I think with pot, with me, um, I think it takes longer for me to process what people are saying because instead that's just of, weed. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, like I think it's more so of like when someone says something to me, like someone's having a conversation with me. With with marijuana, it's a lot more. Or hold on, 
with being sober, it's a lot more linear. Mm. Like I'm just thinking um, yeah. about what they're talking about, and then when when I'm high, you know, and I'm smoking pot and stuff like that. I'm thinking about what they're talking about, but it's kind of like a tree branch effect where I'm like thinking about what they're talking about, but I'm also thinking about how it applies to me, how it, you know, how it's, huh. you know, like just different ins and outs you got of the a lot conversation. of shit going on. Yeah, it's weird. It's like my brain's on overload, like when I'm trying to like process what people are thinking. Oh, yeah. And- Pot also yeah. makes me a lot more like understanding and nice. Like if if I'm high <laughs> and like someone's trying you've to been, talk you, to you've, me, you've you've sounded a little agitated and irritated oh, sometimes, boy. dude. A little, <laughs> Uh, on uh, yeah. on edge. Yeah, when we saw Joker, uh, I looked like probably Dude, a you crazy looked like a, you person. looked like a crazy person. I probably did. What was that? That was Thursday. That, that was, was two days. Yeah, yeah. That was that was October. Well, three days. October fourth. Yeah, that was the that was the well, day that the, I posted that it, snap. it was it was released October fourth, but we saw it the third the night before. Yeah, yeah, we did a Thursday. Dude, when you when show. you rolled up those steps, dude, you were looked like you were in a uh. What are those old workout TV shows? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, like for like uh, what was it? Uh, what was his name? Gene Simmons. Yes. Oh my god. No, not Gene, Gene Simmons. That's the lead Gene. singer, Kiss. Ah, yeah. uh, fuck, dude. Um, I don't remember his name. <laughs> Why, well, dude? At one point, I was like Bob Ross. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it was funny because I was when I was grabbing my drink or whatever. For some reason, I wanted a drink. I don't know why. Remember, I. Grab like a fat ass soda. Oh yeah, just like, yeah. I don't yeah. know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. So I like walk <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. So I like Fuck walk it. over to Jess, and, and the whole time I'm like doing it, I'm like shaking and everything. I'm like holding my cup. I'm like eh, 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 like that and everything. It's and like walk over to Jess. She goes the first thing she says to me. She's like, "How are you?" I'm like, "I'm doing all right." It's been a while since I've seen them. Yeah, too. same. And she was like, "It's been a while." And I was like, yeah, I know. Like, what's up, man? Like, how have you been? And she was like, nothing. What's going on with you? I was like, third day of sober October. I'm hurting. Like that. And she goes, and uh, to her defense and everything, she goes, so glad that, and, and like, that's so dope that you guys are doing that. And I was like, yeah, it's fucking terrible. It's so much fun, but I'm hurting <laughs> on the inside. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and like, while I'm like sitting next to her and stuff, and she like, remember, she was like, hey, Tyler. Yeah, that's a cup holder. Like, because I had my drink just, like, in the You were just sitting on the table, dude. Oh, my God, I I remember that. I couldn't focus. Like, when when the movie kicked on, probably, like, it took me, like, probably 30 minutes to, like, really get, like, okay, I can focus on what's going on now. But it took (laughs) me a long time. Really? Yeah. I couldn't. I thought that would have grabbed you almost, like, instantly. It did, but the whole time the movie's playing, my legs are going up and down. Oh, I saw. Yeah, dude, I was. You you were, dude, we had reclining chairs, and you were sitting upright. I'm like. This, I dude, this, I couldn't control this, myself. This dude's a crazy person. Yeah, dude. I well, I mean, like Jesus. Yeah, it was bad, man. I'm um, surprised I didn't see any more like police personnel in there. In the movie Just, theater? Yeah. Well, not in the in in the in Cinemark itself. They had, I only at, saw one. I only saw one. At the end of the night, when I walked out of the front. There was five cops. Oh, was there? Yeah, I didn't but even I, I didn't I, even rec- realize it or recognize it. I think there's a curfew it. there now. Yeah, huh. like I think when the move. I, I definitely know there's one in White Marsh. I think around like ten. I think if you're under like eighteen, you can't be around there. Oh no shit! I think good on them. Well, with, without obviously parental yeah, parental supervision, all that shit. But yeah, I walked out the front and I saw like five cops. I'm like, Jesus fuck! Like, what's going on over here? Um, but I just you know just. Walked to my car. I probably looked like a heroin addict walking out of there because I'm scratching myself and shit. Every time I see a cop, I'm just going to go, Sober October, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> you know? What the fuck um, are you hitting this on, 90? Yeah, dude. Fucking triple mesh? Jesus Christ, dude. I had a quad mesh in there before, but I want to hit it on 200 fucking watts. No, no, I don't do that. All right, so with that Sober October, none of these... Here's None of these mine. babes have Nick. Here's his. Here's fucking proof. Zero nicotine. Oh, I will also pull, hold mine up proof. too. Oh, here's my other one too. You know. Wait, about. does it even? Oh, it does, but it's like really fucking like it's, it's like really dark. Small. Yeah, but here's proof. Can you see that? No. She. Mine has a zero dark. right there. Can you see? And then this one. It. Oh, you can. Also has a zero. Look, you can see it. Oh, Focus, motherfucker! Yeah. There it is. There it is. See? Zero. All zeros. 
No nicotine. Yeah, that so is we're... my main goal for this sober sober October. It's not to say, it's not to stop drinking because let's look, I can clarify on that. Yeah, real quick because so, I. Bef- before I'll go you first because get... mine's short. Yeah, right? I, mine's short. I just want to clarify though, so people stop bothering me about it. <laughs> What about vaping? Yeah, say that's not really you're not being, Oh, yeah, like, fuck you, and, man! And I, it's it, all zero nicotine. There's nothing. This is literally yeah. It can be. It can turn into a habit, but it is a habit. That's it's why definitely we're doing a habit it. because we're addicted, and we we tried to stop doing it for a month. We can't because we're fucking slaves. Oh, I, I never tried to stop with this. I did. I, I lasted was two days. No, yeah, I mean, I barely, barely. lasted a, a morning. Yeah, like come on now. Right, but. There's no nicotine in this. I have I'm I have cravings, right? I'm an addict. <laughs> we know. So, <laughs> end goal for my sober October is mm-hmm. to quit smoking six. Okay. And that's, I think that's going fairly well. It's five days. They say first three are the hardest, but it's still fucking hard. So, yeah. whoever said that's a fucking liar. It right. takes about a week and a half, probably two weeks. Yeah. My- but... I, it's why I got fucking 17 vapes at home, you know. <laughs> Flex. <laughs> <laughs> I need 17 different bottles of fucking juice so I can taste something different. You know what I'm saying? No monsters for me. So yeah, that's is, that's the main that's thing. Going. I haven't had a monster I in I haven't had a monster in five days. Holy shit, that's big for you. And I usually so, all right. So I'll put it. I'll put this into perspective. Yeah, do that. Tell us Monday. How many you have a day. Monday through Saturday, I probably have two a day. That's twelve monsters a week. So that's five dollars a day. Five times because twelve is what? Five times twelve is sixty. Jesus, that's a full price of a game. Sixty right bucks. There so eight. look, I just saved sixty fucking dollars in yeah. a week. But also the pack of cigs, right? So oh my it would God. usually be, I would I was smoking a pack a day. Oh my fuck! And it that's got to like that. seven bucks. It got to that. Well, they were six fifty. So altogether, every morning it was eleven dollars even, six days a week. Sometimes seven, so um, I just saved myself seventy-seven, almost eighty, almost ninety dollars this week Dude, alone. Seventy-seven. If you do that a month, yeah. you're spending three hundred dollars on monsters and cigarettes. <laughs> wow, when you break it down like Don't, that, I'm not. It even sounds gonna, so much so worse, bad. and remember it I is told, that bad. Remember, I told you on the and phone. And guess what? I, like, I just saved eighty fucking dollars this week right. to pay a bill. And Matt's like, I don't know why you guys are doing this or whatnot. I don't know how it saves you money. And I'm like, bro, look. You don't look. know how it saves us money? I just broke it down for you, fucking cuck lord. <laughs> well, listen, right? So he's like, uh, what, the weekend <laughs> The weekend before, he's like, all right, well, why don't you come out? I'm like, I don't have any money. He goes, how the fuck don't you have any money? You you just worked all, all last week. I'm like, yeah, but I'm also, I'm also... <laughs> paying my bills i'm paying as much yeah. as i can on those bills right and leaving myself with smart maybe 40 bucks that week so i can put gas in my car mm-hmm. so i don't have anything else to spend money on i make sure i know what my bills are i'm putting as much money to those bills yeah, as i can you both and guess what like that two beers 70 anything when you go out to a bar last well that's I, that last time we went we went for the Rams game and i wasn't really hyped for it no but that's what i'm saying like i've i've if like I if I drive, outside. yeah, I, I don't get yeah, a lot. Yeah, but even on the outside but... looking in, I've noticed that you've been trying to save your money more. Like there's been times where I like need to, you've dude. gone I'm fucking out struggling. and then you've gone back home earlier, and then you're already on the game, and I, and you're like, dude, what are you doing? I'm like, struggling. Let's go. Like, yeah. I'm on a fucking money struggle bus, man. I got Still a new job yeah. that that I'm making a, a lot more money with. I'm trying to put some away. And then I'm well, I'm. Not putting any away. I'm not saving any right now. Oh. Because I want to pay everything that. off as mm. fast as I can to, smart. to then save that money. Yeah. So all I have left would be a fucking car payment, an insurance payment, and rent. That's a very smart and, well, decision. And, on and your phone. End. So I, um, I'm I mean, trying. And that's my end goal. Well, so look, you're... for this over October, I know that I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna fail with the alcohol. Because well, I got the, I got a friends. The, I was gonna say, tell the audio listeners why. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm definitely failing, but not the in the yes with the alcohol, not the cigarette sense. Because my friend's getting married in fucking what's today the whatever. She's getting married on the 25th. Right. I'm gonna want to drink with her because this is literally the first time we're meeting in person. Sure. It's Roxanne. Yeah, I know. So she lives up in New Jersey. We're gonna have we're I'm gonna have beers. I'm gonna guarantee that. I'm. 
I mean, but look, I'm still going. I'm still going 25 days without drinking. That's, that's I don't have a problem that's, with it. That's at fine all. with me. I I can. You're, I know. you're gonna sip that beer and you're gonna be like, oh my god. I know I can. God. I know I can do it. I know I can not drink. I don't. Yeah. I never have a craving to drink. I do. I, now I, that I, I can't drink, I'm craving it. Oh, I don't have a craving the at all. I, like I told you, I have three bottles sitting on my desk. And yeah, you I, were holding them up last night. I almost drove I your have, house. <laughs> <laughs> I have no desire to to even crack the bottle. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't associate drinking while I'm at my house. I do. Because I drink alone all the time. <laughs> See, I don't. Yeah. It's, I mean, like, that's that's my thing is, like, the weekend is, like, one of those things with me where... um. Going into the weekend, I was like, oh, man, I'm excited. Like, fun weekend. My house. And, right. And, like, and now, like, now that it's Sunday, I felt like, dude, once Friday was over with, yesterday for me, honestly, was a challenge. That's why what? I didn't get off the game. Like, yesterday okay. for me, like, I was like, I'm bored. Oh, dude. Like, Trust. I want to get drunk. Trust. I want to do something. That's why I got and off. I was like, dude, this is boring as fuck. I, I mean, like, I was having fun playing I was, yesterday, but, but I'm just like, I was dead. I, was, I wanted to go get drunk. Like, I legit, I was like, I don't want to do yeah, anything never, right now but go and get drunk. I, I never have that. I don't know. I never have, like, that weekend, like, I want to go get fucked up. I have Not the weekends. That. I have the weekends where I'm like, I want to go get a beer. I, I guess, like. Like, I, I get that. Yeah. Like I'll I'll go up the street if it's still fucking happy hour to racers. It's three beers for nine bucks. Right. It's Boom. Enough. So I'll you know yeah. that's three beers. I'll fucking go home. Right. Unless I see somebody I know there, then I'll hang out. For me, it's it's more never so... it's never a plan to get drunk. I'm not. I'm I don't. Not I like... never have that plan. But you know, it just fucking happens. Yeah. <laughs> and I start me, walking around the city for fucking six hours. I just like getting. I'm not drunk, but I I like I There's just like drinking while buzz. I'm playing. Like yeah, yeah, like I like drinking I and feel being that. buzz while I'm playing the yeah, game, and and then the other thing is is that I'm smoking pot while I'm playing, I'm I'm chilling, uh, and like, you know, none of that's being done while I'm playing the game. Mm-hmm. So then the game starts to get uh, aggravating to me or stressful because I'm like I don't have my vices to calm me down when what I get mad. What is your end goal? Uh, you don't have to like specify a lot. Yeah. I don't care. I what don't, is your end goal for care. October? Yeah, if you can so, make it to the thirty first, and I'm, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm yeah. doing it with him. Yeah. To be support. Yeah. Um, if you need me, I'll be here in fucking what is it, fifteen minutes I mean, away? You live like five minutes yeah. away. So. Um, what is your been, What is your end goal? Texting each other and shit like nonstop. Yeah. Your Just fingers like, don't fucking I, stop I moving. I'm like. This motherfucker has sent me six text I, messages it's I'm in fucking, ten seconds. It's, yeah, I'm I know. just like, duh, 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 like I, I gotta channel my energy into other things. Yeah, I feel because that. It's like, because like, I'm telling you, dude, that. if it's not the game, I'm looking at you know movie reviews and shit. I'm just trying to fill my brain up, or I'm working on music with Trayvon and stuff like that. And it's just like, it's it's weird oh because you associate God. doing shit with the shit that you're doing so exactly. that's making so it, even it, makes it even harder yeah. yeah but that's also that's why i started drinking coffee so much yeah when i i used to drink coffee back in the day but i'd never associated it with smoking a cigarette dude i'm I, my mornings were a cigarette and a monster yeah not a cigarette and a coffee that mine's always how many coffee. coffees do i drink a night Jesus, let me ask dude, you how that how many breaks did you take last night to make hey man i know it's been 30 seconds but i'm gonna go make another thing of coffee I'm like, and then you come back, you're like, yeah, it's decaf. I'm like, Jesus. Well, it's decaf because it's fucking well be 1 a.m. Water, bitch. Because it's like, 1 a.m., bro. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and then I got too bad and I had to get off. I was like, I can't do this anymore. If I drop in capital one more time and Purdy comes to my building, holy motherfucker, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I look behind me and I got Gibraltar just <laughs> over me, just shadowing me. I'm hey, like, dude, what goes. What? dude, he, last night. He walked out in front of me while I was trying to kill that octane, and I'm like, Gibraltar, I can't hit him. You're the size of a truck. <laughs> like, I, yeah. I, I forget who it was who was walking in the door. I was trying to shoot him, but somebody was down. It's probably me. It's probably it's, me. Is either somebody was down or somebody was staying there. I'm like, get yikes. out of the fucking way. Big yikes. <laughs> the bullets don't go through you. <laughs> yeah, it's probably me. 
Anyway. Back to my ADB yeah. story. So, uh, um, your end goal my end for this goal for is sober what? October. So, I don't want to smoke any nicotine. Um, After 31 days? Well, no. I, I think I'm going to go back to the nicotine. I'll probably get like a three. Yeah, I'm on yeah. three all the time. So, I barely, like, this is three. I yeah. only smoke three. Yeah, I've never, I mean, I usually got six. Oh, on, really? on different ones. Okay. Uh, it was just weird. I tell you right. what I'm probably not going to do. I'm probably not going to do concentrated nicotine anymore. No more salt nick for me, I don't think. That's cool. I don't know. I might go off and that, on that a little just, bit. That just enters bloodstream quicker. Yeah, but mainly. it's just one of those things for me where I'm like, it's 35 mg on the nick. Why am I doing this? Mm-hmm. Like I, When you don't. After There's you no do that purpose. 30 days, you don't need that much. Yeah. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I think for me, it's all about, it got to a point for me where like my moderation levels were like, I can take a buttload of anything. <laughs> like, and be fine. Like, <laughs> so like for me, it's more so just like tapering down and you know, Rogan kind of, um, Rogan kind of like does this, uh, in his <laughs> podcast and stuff where he says all the time where. He goes, I think it's good to take a month off and clean the pipes out. Like, and I was like, yeah, I think that's true, dude. Like, I, fe- I my lungs do feel better for some reason. Um, I'm coughing up a bunch of bullshit after I wake up. I, I, I will tell you natural. what, uh, and then I'll get back to my angle. But I, what I have been doing that's been helping me is um, I one night I just felt crazy. And I was like, I got to get out of this fucking house. For and I, I went for a run. And I ran for like three miles. Mm-mm. And like... I know, I know. I hate it, too. I fucking loathe it. But, dude, like, the endorphins and everything that you feel after you do that, it makes you feel so good that, honestly, for me, it kind of felt like getting high. So I just, like, liked it. All right. Like, I I was, like, sitting on my bed, my lungs feel like raisins and shit. And I'm like, (laughs) you know, I'm like... (gasps) And then I, like, took a cold shower and everything. I was, like, tired after that. And I was like, yeah, yeah. man, I think this is cool. So Whatever can replace me. it. Have you been doing it every night? Almost. Almost. Um, I, I don't really do a lot of cardio, to be honest. Like, yeah, I, When I'm in here, like, I'll do, like, a lot of crunches and push-ups and incline push-ups, all that kind of shit. But, like, when I'm like, yeah, I'm going to work out, I never am like, I want to do cardio. But that because <laughs> I don't do that, that's why I was like, eh, I think it's time for me to do cardio. It's I, I want to kick my own ass tonight. Yeah. Like, you know? So, um, but for me, the end goal is um, there's a couple of substances that I, I'm not going to list on here, but I will say I need to get off of it. Mm-hmm. Um, I need to taper off and moderate my Coke that I've been doing. My Xanax, my Percocets, my Oxys, um, and... I hope you can get off of all of that altogether. Me too. Um, Do you? Uh, yes and no. <laughs> like, I, I, I won't lie to you. I like I being know. on them. I like, know. I, yeah. Um, I know you do. <laughs> um, I think the, the ones that I can't list are higher on the list for me to kick them and off first, no and then we'll tackle those uh, as after. they come. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so my end goal is to moderate. Eventually, what? what I'm maybe doing. just weed. Um, and, I don't know. Or like, maybe like a, a like a concentrated, like single, uh, you know, like a monitored other thing. I just want to be able to to. I want to be able to feel like. Why can't you just be like a in the moment, like person instead of doing it? all the time you know what i mean that's not how i operate i know i but i like what if like you a plan, could like if i'm planning on getting fucked up i'm buying them drugs a week prior because i'm already planning it jesus yeah um like yeah i'm real weird and like yeah you're weird yeah, dude. yeah i know um <laughs> <laughs> that's why yeah, we're friends it's one of those things for me where um i just i think a jesus. lot of it has to do with just moderating the intake level and i never did that before i always just was like fuck it I'm just going to take five or, like, something like that. Jesus like Christ, just, Tyler. Yeah, I know. Um, so it's like Maybe one of those. want to fucking strangle you across this table. Uh, whatever, dude. <laughs> With your own mic cord. Um, but, yeah, so I think for me the end goal for, he- for this is, like, okay, like, I need to make sure that I'm keeping track of what I'm doing mm-hmm. and not just saying, fuck it, I don't care. Um, so that's my end goal is just moderating it a bit more and eventually just getting off of everything. 
One thing that I need to moderate is how much I, I get drunk, to be honest. Um, there are nights Mine's, that yeah. I come home and I, I just want to drink and um, – and I will get fucking smacked and for no good reason. Like, there's literally no reason to be that belligerently drunk on, like, a Tuesday. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just stuff like that where I'm like, I need to get better control of this, man. But that's my end goal for my uh, Sober October is I, I need to just moderate what I'm doing. I need to just take a little bit care, uh, a little bit better care of myself. Um like I said before, I, I think even before Sober October, I was talking about this, but I just stopped eating, like, fucking fast food all the time. Like, there was a point in time where I was just eating Burger King, like, every day for, like, five months. I, I'll tell you this. Uh, I haven't had fast food in a long time. Yeah, it feels good. I haven't. I actually haven't had Taco Bell, I think, in, like, three weeks. Nice. That's good. I haven't had Burger King in, like, a month and a half. See, I like... Good. See, I, I actually enjoyed their burgers. I and like Burger King. Like off their value it's menu. Just, yeah, that's all I get. I liked their their burgers over McDonald's. So do I. Dollar burgers. They're broiled. Well, they're broiled, and it's also isn't it fucking lettuce and tomato instead of fucking cheese, Correct. pickles, onions, yeah. mustard, ketchup. Blech. Yeah, I like the lettuce. Everything the but the, the onions and please. Yeah. I like the chicken sandwiches that they do too. The OG they're, chicken sandwiches. Is it the grilled? Uh, it's just like where it's like a patty with lettuce and mayo on it. Um, but they got a deal where you can get, um, two small fries and two of those chicken sandwiches for five bucks. And you're like, Jesus, fuck, that's so much food for five bucks. Like, that's ridiculous. So do you, I would Do they have a, a grilled one? Uh, I know they have a grilled sandwich at Chick-fil-A. Yeah. That's because that's, that's all I get there. I don't get the breaded because I'm not a fan of fried chicken. Sure. Damn, you don't like fried chicken? I know, I love fried chicken. But dude. how much is just the sandwich? It's like fucking three dollars, isn't it? I have and no to get clue. a drink, it, it puts it up to fucking five dollars, and then I, oh shit, I kind of want a second sandwich, just the sandwich. I you're already spending fucking eight dollars at Chick Fil A. I'm like, come on, man. That's that's Jesus. why I go for like the apps for like any fast food restaurant when I'm going to them, like because they always have like crazy ass deals on their apps. Like Burger King has so much food on their app. If you just go to their app, then you mobile. Like, My mom gives me, uh, she she tells me, hey, I got fucking Burger King coupons. I'm like, chuck them motherfuckers in a shredder. I don't yeah, fucking dude. eat that shit. Yeah, and that's. I, I mean, really like, don't like, dude, that one night we went out and we got McDonald's. Was that? We were I was like, as shit. Uh, I was like, what the fuck am I eating McDonald's for? I did the same thing. Ugh. I did the same thing. I think I ate like the fries and then I was like, I, I don't even want to eat the rest of this. You got, like, two McChickens. Or I ate those fries the entire ride home. Yeah. They were disgusting. Yeah. They always are. I like Burger King fries, <sighs> to be honest. But, um, or, like, Chick-fil-A's fries, Chick-fil-A's fries. I like their waffle fries. My favorite dude, fries are, my favorite fries are checkers. I was just seasoned. about to fucking say that. I was gonna say, dude, my favorite fries, hands down, checkers, checkers for sure. Um, I, I, I probably haven't been there in about five years. I haven't been to checkers years. probably it's been in years. Like eight years, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's been It's so been long. years. That's yeah. literally, like, a, their burger's like a heart attack. It is yeah. the worst. It's bad. It's bad. They're the, they're, yeah, and they're, they're the like worst. triple patties and shit like that. And you're just yeah, like. Yeah, triple grease, triple fucking give me all blood clot. Yeah. <laughs> I know somebody that got that all the time. Oh, huh, look what happened. Uh, Idiot. <laughs> take better care of yourself. Um, His grandmother passed away. What? His grandmother passed away. Uh, He's not in a good place. Jesus. Well, our heart goes out to you, man. Even though it you does, up. yes, but, yes. Yeah. Anyway, um, I don't want to put any lies down there. Yeah, but me either. I'm still an idiot. Um. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so, uh, let's talk Apex Season Three now that our Sober October shit has been done. I'm a scrub. I'm not anymore. Well, obviously me either. But when it yeah. started. We were. Oh my terrible. god, dude. that's like it's like I never picked up a fucking controller to play a game before. So the I was meta just getting shit changed. on left and right. Yeah, like what? Well, what the is... meta changed because you oh. don't you don't see a lot of people carrying around a peacekeeper all game. Mm -hmm. Honestly, they want long range fights, but I don't see a lot of people with long bows either. You don't. No, I see more G7 and triple take and line rifle. Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, all those are snipers, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, dude, I tried the I double. I mean, the me that was my meta before this meta game. 
Uh, I would always try yeah, to have know, a fucking longbow with me. Longbow 301 was my shit. Yeah. Now it's you 301, have a longbow, 301 yeah. flatline. Fuck no, I still won't. What? I'll just I'll just hide lanes. If there's a charge rifle, I'll pick that up over the flatline. Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's what I was saying. Longbow, flatline, triple take, any of those long range guns. Like, even G7, I'm like, yeah, give me it. Like, God, I'm, I need range. That, that game we won with Purdy last night? Mm-hmm. I had a G7 the whole fucking game. I believe it. That two squads Reason left. That double? Two, no. Double, double? No, I don't. I, don't, I, I got to get used to it. I got to get it's, used to it. No, it's garbage, dude. <laughs> it's don't not, tell me though. You got to get used to it's it. It's not, though. Uh, you can Maybe close range, it's One good. shot, you take somebody's shield off. I didn't use it that Audio game. Listeners, I wish you could see my face right now. <laughs> what the fuck? It's not. It's actually not bad if you have uh, a a blue, a blue, purple, or obviously a gold stabilizer. Mm. It jumps way yeah, too that's much. I'm, I'm right. That's, that's why someone, when we going, were <laughs> when we were playing, I was like, I feel like this double tap is more of a hip fire close range thing for this. You remember yeah. me saying that mm-hmm. literally day one? Yeah. I haven't even gotten in that type of situation because because <laughs> you're getting another gun out <laughs> because I'm also picking another sniper. picking another gun up yeah. <laughs> instead of that. Jesus I'm going to Christ after this. I'll, we'll have to we'll have to I'm going to have to use we gonna be playing. Uh, I'm going to be I'm going to I need you to send me the link for the football game. Oh, yeah, we play yeah. Steelers. I'm gonna it's have, a big I, deal. I'll have that up while we're playing. Yeah, it's a big deal today. Yeah. Go Ravens. Go fucking Ravens, buy baby. Out. They fucked up last week. Yeah. Not this week. We gonna kill them. This I think. Week. I don't know if I showed you the pic. The uh, uh, the picture of John Harbaugh. Where it says "work hard, bitch" or something. It like says that. "nobody cares, work harder" on his t-shirt <laughs> during awesome. a during a press that. conference. Dude, that I mean, like, cause that's the vibe. That's the fucking vibe, dude. That Baltimore puts out. Oh, you're successful. I don't give a fuck. How about you work harder? Like, <laughs> oh, you made it to the NFL. Who cares? Who Work cares? harder. Yeah. Because harder obviously you're not doing shit now because our have... secondary looks like a can of shit. Lamar is looking good, though. I, he didn't look he, good last well, week. He does look good. He just needs It looks his... better than Flacco. Well, what, the, potato, the, the only thing that Lamar needs that I've heard that I've seen mm-hmm. is his pass completion after week one. It, it, was, it was okay, but his accuracy was not. He was overthrowing people. Yeah. He was underthrowing people. I think he was under a lot of pressure too. He could have been. Playing, he could have been um, fucking the Browns and shit. Yeah, but um, I mean, he'll he'll get his shit in gear. What is it? Fucking game game four or five? It's game five this week. They're two and two. Yeah. You know. I'm uh, dude. I'm. I'm Unfortunately, totally cool. we're not in, in first in our uh, in our division just because we lost to the Browns. Right. But so much for Apex season three. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> What? I have ADD. Oh, Can yeah, you yeah. blame me? No, it's fine. Um, so for um for Apex and everything. Back to Apex, yeah. We'll what? talk about football later. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is not right, a sports yeah. podcast. No, not at all. <laughs> um, I don't know anybody's name on the team besides <laughs> our quarterback. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know their last names. No, I'm just kidding. Not um, a chance. <laughs> um, that's a player on our team. If you didn't know. Yeah, I, I, I. Okay, listen here, fucker. I'm not talking to you. Oh, okay. I was about to be like, stain. Jesus, I listen to and watch football. Everything else could go suck a dick. And, well, I watch UFC, too. But that's it. What about hockey? You don't like hockey? I do like hockey. I just haven't kept up with it. I'd love to go to a Caps game, though. Oh, Let's go. my God. Dude, Let's I'm go. so down. We'll take the train. Dude, I'm down. Let that's me the know. easiest. Dude, I'm so I got you. fucking My, my there. fucking cousin used to have season tickets, and he would give them to me if he couldn't oh, make it to the game. La, 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 but cousin, he lives in through. he lives in South Carolina now. So he, he Never mind. Him. It's a great place to live. It's beautiful out there. Um, he's also making a lot of money. Nice, good for you, man. Yeah. Good shit. Um, but yeah, so Apex season three. Um, crypto weird. Crypto Crypto's has been a released. Weird. Um. He he has a drone. His drone can That's all, scan dude. He's people. actually fucking awesome. I've changed I'm my opinion about him completely. Now. I'm enjoying the way you when you play with him. Really? To be honest, yes. Because I would have just been like, eh, fuck it. I don't I don't care. He's got a drone. I'll put it out. Whatever. Da, da, da. You actually do it all the time, on and the I'm meta. like, <laughs> I'm like, all right. That's what that's what won us that fucking game. I mean, dude. I was also. I also saw them and I pinged them before you even pull your drone out when we won that oh, game. Oh really? Yeah, I pinged the the Pathfinder. 
And then I must have already been in my animation at that point. I said, now, when you were there, you when were... When you were like, get on top of that, get on top of that? Yeah, you were just pulling your drone out. Okay, yeah, because, I, dude, I, I flew up. You ran right You I'm, ran right towards him when I pinged him. And he, and well, that's why I stopped. You were like, dude, you're running right towards him. So I, I hovered <laughs> down, I'm like, just, uh, drone, let's go. Like, yeah. And, and that man cool is savage, too. His fucking comments. Oh my god! He called me an Cause, idiot the yeah, other day. I was, I was, I, 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 I was fucking hurt, dude. Like, you fucking dick. Fuck, crypto? Don't Calm make, don't there, make me buddy. get mean. <laughs> your fucking accent um, already. Good job, Apex. So when I first played with him, I thought he'd be able to do other shit. Like I, I didn't know what he was gonna be able to do. I thought he was that gonna EMP, be able to hack people. That EMP is. It's pretty good. It's, it's, pretty it's good. got a big range. <laughs> yeah. Can, the, so when you activate that EMP, can they shoot that if it's sitting still? It charges, so it when you when you hit the trigger, mm -hmm. it comes up with a little loading bar. It takes like I want to say two three seconds. If they shoot it within that three seconds, kaputs doesn't EMP, which okay. sucks. Yeah, I've had a couple times where I'm like I'm charging the EMP and I'm like fuck my life, like you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. You um, said oh it hit him it hit him. I'm like these motherfuckers got full shields. Like, right. Yeah. What? That's and that's what I'm saying. Like it's one of those things where, um. Yeah, when I first played with him, he felt really, really fucking weird, man. I didn't like it at all. And um, I just, I don't know. Like, I guess I was just so used to playing with Pathfinder and stuff that going to someone I like who playing scans, with Path. Yeah. Um, I, I really do. That. Yeah. <laughs> I, you're good with him, too, man. Like, Path I just so got to, I'm trying to figure out the, uh, dope -ass skin from the crown I'm trying to event. figure out his movement. Oh, dude. Like, I get it. I get it. I just need to, like, practice on how to do it. You can, if you, so... I know you shoot the grapple, and then you look, and you can swing. But do you have to hold the the grapple button for him to hold on to it longer? I always do. Okay. Because so, it's weird It's weird for me because my buttons are different. Because I use... should be doing... Mine's X to do that. Okay. Instead so, of so R1, or so you're, L1. You're Pathfinder running, right? And then you fucking grapple, right? When you go up, and you, you're swinging... Right before he gets to the right, like the the very top arc of his swing, let go of it, and then when you're coming down, slide. Oh, I know that. I know the. But the most sliding of the time, stuff. when you're done sliding, it, his grapple's charged again, and then you just do it again. <laughs> and you just keep doing Dude, it. Dude, going going on the zip line, mm -hmm. on, on whatever zip line, and then coming yeah. right out of it and, and, and grappling. Dude, it's fucking so crazy, fun. dude. You are so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and you have a Octane no main for game. life, dude. Hey. Octane means for life. What's up, Razor? That's me. That's 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 always me. Speed. I when I'm not Pathfinder anymore. Or Lee Ball's not dude, taking listen, Octane from right, you. Right, dude. This one <laughs> I have over what I think it's eleven hundred kills with Octane as soon yeah, as it came out. That's lot. all I used. I know. All I use, all I use, always it's a main. Character. <laughs> Fuck. Quitting smoking is awesome, but it's fucking making me cough. <laughs> um no, I used Octane. I still do to this day. I mean, I fucking love Octane. I like the I like the speed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Dude, I just blanked. You said you like the speed of Octane. What the fuck I was gonna going say on? something and then I just blanked. Yeah, you just go yeah, and then it was just quiet. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, dude? Oh yeah, dude. But um, but for real, Octane is always Octane. always gonna be Bay. Always yeah. gonna be main. Um, and Bangalore. Yeah, but it's it, the okay. We've talked and about crypto. Watson. I use crypto a lot now. I think he might actually become my main. I I don't know, but I I really you'll cycle through him. a couple, and I know which I, ones they are. I dig him a lot now, though, man. Like yeah, it's also nice to. I mean, if you have a crypto, you don't really need a bloodhound. Um, that's only for, for like personal use. So the, your your bloodhounds is for personal. Dude, it's, honestly, it's, it's if if personal you use crypto detection. and bloodhound, though, you know for just where just for the scan, yeah. Is. But yeah. when you're in bloodhound mode, you, they ain't no one else what, can see that. Hunt? Yeah. Oh yeah. No. no one can see it. Yeah. Um, which sucks. And with crypto, obviously, it's passive. Every scan, everyone sees, which is especially. Tight. I mean, it's it's nice that you can literally just fucking stab yourself with adrenaline. So fast. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, like a two second cooldown? That's it. Yeah. You maybe know, maybe one. You know what we should it's rock awesome. for a team? I was thinking about this last night when we got What's off. That? 
Watson, Gibraltar, Crypto. Gibraltar puts a shield down. How many fucking Bangalore and Gibraltar arts alts have you fucking seen? I've seen a lot. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I'm t dude. Watson puts down her trophy system. We're good. That Watson would need... probably be me. I'm dude. I'm the telling only you, thing. I I don't know who's gonna be. Gibraltar. I love the trophy system. Mm -hmm. But the fences, I'm just like I never fucking use them. Really? I don't use them a lot. I don't. But I will start. There, if I do use if I do use her. If a team's rushing See, us, I, you can put them down I like in front using, of us and, and like kind of get them to filter off. And then obviously we're we're guarding. Dude, I was this, the, I was the fucking. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, thanks, Razor. Razor followed our channel. What's good, man? Thank you, dude. I All really we do is talk it. shit. Thanks for being in here. Hell yeah, Roach Room <laughs> Podcast. Make sure you like us on uh, fucking Spotify and shit. Twitter, YouTube. Um, all your social media like outlets. Oct main. Yeah, I dude. love it, dude. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, um, I was I was going back and forth last night. I was like, who am I gonna use? Yeah. I want to use Pathfinder because it's convenient. And yeah. I want to use Octane because he's convenient. So I'm like, I'm shooting myself <laughs> in the foot. I'm like, all right, I need to switch it up. But then I go back to using somebody whose movement is still fire. Right. I'm like, holy shit. What is your opinion on the gun meta changes and the armor meta changes? I want to break down the meta for everybody, and then we, we can get into uh, one some sec, more Razor. shit. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll, well, get, we'll get to you in one second. So those <laughs> anvil rounds... They're cool, but I would only use them, honestly, on a flat line because it slowed the... R3 is slow firing that, man. No, it's even slower on a, on a flat line. What? Oh, yeah. I it's, haven't used it's it like, on a flat It's like, toom, 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 toom. It's real what? slow. What? It's I very not... slow. What but does it hit on the body? 43. Oh, oh. That's more. That's head? more than a G6 what about or a G7. Head? On the head, I saw somebody hit for a 76. Yikes! It's, oh my god! It, it rocks. So that I mean, if you don't want to use a longbow, what kind of sight are you using on it? I always use a two time. Try to. Oh, oh man! My god! With the minis. What's Razor. up, man? Thanks, bro. We appreciate that. You seriously are the goat today, bro. You are. Shouts fucking... out to Razor. Everybody in the yeah, stream, he's, go follow. So him. Razor, <laughs> Razor said he's loving this energy and hype. This is. This, I mean, this is what we do every Sunday. I love to talk. Especially to you during. Guys. Yeah, man. I mean, we're doing, we're doing sober October right now, so usually, usually we're, we're drinking we're vodka blitz. right yeah, now. Usually, usually we're, we're pretty blitz. drunk at uh, where we are, ten o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. So. Usually we're taking shots, but yeah. but we're doing sober October this month, so we're we're sober. We're stone cold sober right no now. No nicotine in this either. Yeah. But but seriously, that flat line. Yeah. It's gross. Matt tried to use it when he hopped on. He's like, dude, I can't do that. I'm like, you're way too close to use that single fire. Matt plays so aggressively, dude. I got yeah, a I bottle know. of Stoli right on my dresser. <laughs> Boys, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, you man. do, man. Shouts out. Pour one out for the homies over yeah, here for, for me and Chris because we can't door. drink. Pour two, don't pour it out. Pour two of it. Well, hey, this I is Stoli, bro. Just fucking, yeah. And then take them take two us. shots for me real quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, feel that, I'll feel that energy from here. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, but Matt was trying to use that shit up close, and I'm like, no, please don't. Right. Do not use that shit up close because it doesn't do a lot. But I was right. using the 301 with the anvil and the single fire. Felt it good? was yeah, but I was, it felt good. It's still it's it's not as slow as the the flat line, so okay. you can still shoot a butt pretty quick. But like I I only did it if they were far far away, yeah. far far far. It's if like, I, it kind of I'm, feels like hammer points I have, for this. Guys. I'm comfortable with shooting somebody that's that's uh, a ways away full auto. Right. I'm comfortable with it. Yeah. But if there's a range where I'm not, mm -hmm. those anvil rounds come in handy. Yeah. They will. I think on the 301, it'll dome you depending <laughs> on your helmet. I've seen a 53. Wow. That's dude. See, I I guess see, I just gotta get sad. So the bodies, the the body shots with the three hundred one, I think is usually like fourteen, and with the with the headshot, I think it was usually like twenty one or something like that. Right. Um. And see, that's where the anvil rounds amp it up to because I think it turned the body shots right into. About twenty two to twenty five or something like that, and then the headshots were fifty. Oh wow! Depending, obviously, depending on your helmet and whatnot, but right. That's interesting. Just the way I guess. I, I was gonna say, man, like it's the and, and rounds feel really weird to me, but because they, it's slow, 
Right, and it's just I'm not used to switching to a single. When I switch to single fire, right, with an R3 or a flatline, I'm going dot 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 and lining my shots, right. When you get an anvil, you go and it's like that, that, dude. But how much? But if you it gives you it gives you that little bit of time to reset. Yeah. Or to figure out how far, dude. I I knocked a lifeline in seven shots because I was able to reset my shot every time. I pulled yeah. the trigger. Right. I was like, they got purple armor. Yeah, dude. But now she's dead. Yeah. <laughs> you got no time to heal, bitch. What about your opinion on the charge rifle, the changes they the made? Charge the charge rifle is fucking awesome, dude. The Prowler. 99, um, haven't really picked it up. I hate it now. I don't hate it. I probably, I mean, I, I You know I what I've been rocking yet, really. instead Alternator. of it? Or no. 45. Yeah. I've seen you pick that up. I'm that like, thing will melt I wish it still had, out of you. Dude, I wish they still had disruptors. Take out hammer point rounds. Fuck that. I'm not keeping a. Mm, I'm not know. keeping personally. Not keeping a, a fucking P2020 or a Mozambique all game. Bro, I'm P2020 not. P2020 with hammer point is nasty. Yeah, I'm not kidding. But you have to pull the trigger every time. Look, if you're uh, using if you're using a 301 instead, you're yeah. better off, right? Yeah. In close quarter and long range. Yeah, I feel that. I don't see a point to using the P2020. Obviously, the Mozambique's a fucking piece of shit. Always has been, always will be. Yeah. Go, I mean, you're the champ. You deadass just got an invite for me. You're the GOAT. Yeah, man. You wanted the Discord, so I posted it in there, man. That's the uh, Discord that Absurd Purd runs. So if you're an aspiring streamer, get in there. Post your stream links and everything in there so that when you go live, people can get in there and help you out, man. I know we do that and we lurk and everything, too. So we're going to be promoting that Discord and everything because me and Bolt are very involved in that. Um but yeah, man. So, um, all right. Well, what are what your thoughts on changes? The meta changes for the guns. Um, there's a. Couple I'm st- honestly, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna cut you right, real quick. Fine. I'm still using the same guns I was using. I'm not at all. I've seen that. I mean, I didn't usually pick up a, a flatline. But like I started to towards the end of last season. Gold flatline at the end of last Gold season. Gold flatline was, at the end of last. <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah, tell me why why was why was I using a gold triple take? I never picked a fucking triple take up. I don't know. <laughs> Shiny. I yeah. I that's guess, probably yeah. the only <laughs> fucking <Gold>. reason. <laughs> that's the only reason, and that's I when I triple. died, dude. I was so fucking mad when you res me there. <laughs> I know, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> so it, it, this goofball last night res gets gets where where I don't even know the name of it yet. I don't even know the name of it. It's it's one of like the the train station things. So, uh, I I got two people down. It's one person left. One yeah. person left. I kill a crypto and a Bangalore, and then all we had to do was kill a wraith. And Purdy gets it done. You he gets your res. You pick my tag up yeah. and go back towards the storm when it's already coming in. I'm like Tyler, wait. No, oh, you're already doing it. I was just. That's where I would have been out of the storm, bro. I know. I I, I was been just out of the storm, in the able heat to of fight. the moment, like I was like. I, I got to res my mans, and then I I didn't even, to be honest, I didn't even realize the ring was coming in until Or it was like, that close. Yep. Until I got there, right. and I look at the ring fucking going, running into me, and I'm like, fuck, <laughs> I would have been out, man. Yeah, I was like, shit, man, this is but, not But, I mean, at this, I'm, well, yeah, and at the same time, I threw a zip line down, because I was Pathfinder at the time, I had white armor. Yeah. I see a Gibraltar running out of the storm. You saw me ping him. He was I running, him up. running in the storm. Yeah, I, I did him. too. Oh, did you really? And then I fucked the Mirage up. And I, then they I, killed, I killed me. Well, I killed both of them. And then <laughs> my the tag was in the storm. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't get up after that. Yeah, that was kind of bad. Um, but yeah. The when you do, when you went full bloodhound, I thought you were gonna go grab my tag and then come back because, bro. I should have. I really. I did don't you, know why did I did you, Did you go back and watch that? I went back and watched all. a lot of it. That Gibraltar was getting a res with no shield in front of him. Like, Tyler, what, do you not see this? What? I, to be <gasps> honest, I didn't. You, did. nope. you didn't see a big blob of red? <laughs> no. Nope. No, I didn't. I was out of my beast. No, no, no. I'm so fucking mad. No, I, I was out of my beast by so that mad. time. No, you weren't. Yes, I no, was, you weren't. bitch. No, I you watched it. I did, too. I was spectating you. <laughs> Dude, so he puts his shield up, right? His that was in the shield. storm. I know. When you bloodhounded, he was finish, outside fucker. the storm. Yeah, so when fucker. he put that down, the I, for whatever reason, I was, I blacked out. I don't know. 
I don't know. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. All right. Um, <laughs> he would have been out. Oh my god, Razor. Thanks Come for on, having guys. my back, dog. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So anyway, the changes like the charge, right? The dude, the char. I posted a clip last night of an octane running out of a window. Did you see that? There. I posted a clip last night. There's an octane no. running out of a window. I got a charge rifle. I go. Zzz, boom! Hit him for seventy. Zzz, boom! Hit him for ninety. Dead. And I'm like, dude, when you were yikes. using it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Audio listeners, Look Chris just hit the mic right into his fucking dome piece, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was, was awesome. Most That's great. When you were using that at that uh-huh. same spot that um that you got my res, mm-hmm. <laughs> you fucked. So many people up with that, but didn't get. You got one kill. When I was just this is what just when I was watching you, you got one kill, and then you shot another guy, and it and it hit for the same, but it didn't fucking kill him. I was like, it's um, it's because that ah. if you don't hit him for the entire line shot, it doesn't work. Oh my god! To get intimate out here. Good lord! I thought no. he said imitate out here. I thought he said imitate as well, but it's just because I'm illiterate. She. Um, are you a guy or girl so we don't get that mixed up? Uh, just racers a guy probably. I don't know. I'm guessing. You could probably get in trouble for saying shit like that now nowadays. That's why I said I don't want to get shit twisted. Yeah, no, I know. You can come. And you me. know what that makes me think of every time I hear razor? What? Late. Zert. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm a, a dude, my bro. All right, cool. <laughs> he did pour you three never shots know. out for us, though. He, he did poured, you? Yeah. He, uh, earlier in the chat, he said, uh, he was like, I got you. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got you, boys. Three shots, one for the all of us. Mama ain't raised no. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Babushka. Babushka. It's a, babushka. You don't know what a babushka is? I do. Okay. All That's right. awesome. Um, <laughs> oh, my God, dude. That's so good. Yeah, but. That's uh, funny as it. I was going to say, man, um, with the changes, the charge rifle, I really fucking like it. If you're playing Apex, I highly recommend you to find one and use it. Uh, hit them with the entire line shot, and then it, it'll fry Dude, I was on a I was on a box yesterday mm-hmm. trying to shoot it. Yeah. And I was like, you know, it's not just pull the trigger, shoot, pull the trigger, shoot. You actually have – I mean, you pull the trigger, it's a line, and then it shoots. But I was backing off the crate. And I had the line on him. It did three, 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 three. And when I shot, the shot was up in the fucking sky because I hit the because I fell <laughs> off the I fell off the box and just That's hilarious, <laughs> hit the fucking ground. Dude. I was mad. Jesus. Um. Yeah, I don't like what they did to the R ninety nine because I use that heavily in the Kings Canyon stuff. Um. I feel like it, if I have, if it's in the same building or like I got a decked out alternator. I'll probably pick it up, but I don't usually have a decked out alternator just because I usually have a, ne- a decked out 301 and a decked mm-hmm. out uh, flatline or hemlock. Nice. I'm starting to not like the hemlock late game. I don't game. like it either. Late game. Yeah. Early um, game with people with like shit armor, it's still pretty good. Yeah, and by and the, the way, Razor, you didn't good. actually miss our Joker review. We haven't actually broken it down yet. We're starting with Apex Season 3. And then we're getting into our Joker review, man. Hell so yeah. you've tuned in just in fucking time, baby. We're just about done with Apex, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really well, are. we got a couple more things to talk about, yeah, and that's yeah. that's really it. And then yeah. we're gonna we're gonna get into the clowns. Get into, yeah, get into the clowns. Bring in the clowns. Um. Anyway, the changes to the the Prowler, I don't mind because I was frying. What was that the prowler. What was it? Random recoil patterns. That's it. Oh, I'm not worried um, about that. But when the, you the random re- recoil patterns didn't affect me. It's only for the burst. When you switch it to the full auto, it's a laser beam. Still? Mm-hmm. Oh. That's man. why yeah, uh, I posted uh-huh. a clip yesterday of me getting a dub. I, I take down two people with the fucking Prowler, dude, and uh, and I was on full auto, and it had purple heavy mag on it, so I it, it basically a Spitfire at that point, and uh, it was <coughs> disgusting what I was, yeah, I was watching able you. to do. I yeah. was watching you with it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were in my stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I always try to be in your stream. I know. I, know. I try to support my friends. Um, yeah, so that kind of stuff I'm cool with. Uh, How about that double shot Eva? The double shot Eva, I don't mind. The double shot G7, I do. I, I feel like that's a big I'm going to try party. it out today. The double shot Eva is fine. Razor, if you're trying to play, I don't know what you play on. 
PS4. We're all PS4 primarily. Send me a send me a friend request real quick. Just Bolt J U S T B O L T T. We'll play later. Yeah, and mine is just underscore slender. S L N D R. Yep. Um. PC Master Race. PC Master. No worry, man. We're we on also PC. play on that, but yeah, not not a whole a whole lot. Yeah. We, the um. Yet. We bought the Battle Pass primarily for PS4 because that's usually what we rock on. But um, PC we we're on as well. It's just not a lot. Yeah. Um. I'm also keyboard and mouse nub. Yeah, I am not, but they like playing on PS4, so I buy shit on PS4. So. I wish it didn't need a Zim to fucking transfer over to PS4, then you could just use it. We're getting there. It'll it'll yeah, be like I that hope soon. It does. Um, the last thing I want to talk about with Peacekeeper Apex, is buns. Yeah, I don't like the. It, it's too inconsistent now. I like the Eva a lot more than the Peacekeeper now. Um. What about the gold armor changes? I like them. I like that. I, I, like I think that should have been from the start. Me too. I think it's a really um, wise decision on their part. Um, it's dude, I was chunking yesterday with that peacekeeper on that on that octane. You remember, I was I was just yeah. shoulder peeking. It's weird to shoulder peek with uh, um, with a shotgun or just on PS4 in general. Yeah, yeah, but. I broke it. I almost killed him. And then... Just nothing. underscore S-L-N-D-R. Couldn't find either of y'all on Origin. Oh, shit. My bad, that's, dude. Yeah, on that Origin, was on. it's something else. Yeah. Um, I'll get... I'll, I'll, I yeah, don't even, we'll, I don't we'll even get remember. it for you soon, man. I was going to say, we'll be streaming Apex <laughs> on PS4 and everything later on today. Yeah. So I'll be able to look for you Just and pop, everything. Yeah, pop back in. Yeah, pop we'll, back uh, in, lurk and everything, and then... um. You know, I'll give you a follow and all that shit too, so we can lurk in your channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, yeah but anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. um, let's get let's get your hot take on the fucking map. What do you think about it? Yay, I don't, yay, I don't hate it, whatever. but there's a lot of just open area that isn't necessary, and I feel like they could honestly, honestly, they could add another ten teams, really? add another, add another so. thirty people. Dude, we're going places where, where there's, no there's no one. We loot it. We go to the next place. There's no one. We loot it. We go to the next place. There's no one. We loot it. Like, they could probably add another five to ten teams in or there. Or, like, we'll go to a place. We'll loot it. Shoot a shoot an enemy squad. Clear them. Shoot another squad. Get close to clearing them. And then we get third party every time. Every I know, fucking but, time. Right, but we do the same thing. So, I'm, I don't get too mad at it, but I'm just like, the fucking timing. Yeah, that, it's... <laughs> fucking cod timing. It's easy in that map to hear gunshots and go, yo, let's go beeline straight 50 north. We got and, you, Razor. And we're good. We got you, man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, dude, no worries. Yeah, well, what? <laughs> Sorry. I just read it. I'm stupid. Um, But yeah, man, so like with the map and everything... It's one of those things where um, a lot of people, I've been hearing a lot of um, opinions about the map saying that it uh, feels a lot like Fortnite, looks like Fortnite now, it and shit bears. like that. And I think it's just because yeah. of the buildings and everything. It, I'm it, not even looking at it like that because it doesn't play like Fortnite. No, it doesn't. I just think the now it. I mean, it, it kind of does now if you're in Skyhooker or if you're in Cap City. Because you have yeah, to know the, the levels. Yeah. You have to know the levels. Like I was playing last night, I can't I can't play with those with those mini headphones in. With just with just the earbuds. I can't do it because I hear footsteps, yeah. but I can't hear what level it's on. Yeah. I feel because like it's those earbuds. Off, well no, if in my headset I can hear it fine. Really? In my in my Astros, there's, I can hear fine. Dude, but there's been people that walk up to me, I have no idea that they're there. There's there's a couple times with that, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, it's just for sure. uh, there's a couple bugs, especially when that fucking train's coming around. You can't hear anybody fucking walking at yeah, all. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's that's another the cool train's thing. pretty cool though. I was gonna say that's another cool thing about the map. Um, the only thing that plays like Fortnite is watching Tommy Wise use the room. Oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> savagery. Um, but yeah, I, when it comes to this new map, I just feel like we're just so used to Kings Canyon. <laughs> And the meta in that map where it's very high visceral combat. You slide in, you get in people's faces, and then you fucking eviscerate their face off. And then it's mm. in this one, Kinky. you're right. In this <laughs> one, uh, you're you're very much more 
scoping out areas, you're looking to see where people are going, you're looking to see if they're getting third party first, and then you're capitalizing on other situations. That's what I feel like. Yeah. And it's it's a much more to be honest, dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. Recently I've been noticing this, but the games they feel slower because of the long range combat. They feel they're slow. definitely slower. Yeah, they but feel also slow. what happens if you add ten teams in there? An extra thirty people make it ninety cool. players. Yeah. I don't know. What I, happens I don't know if what you the... add five teams there? Yeah, an extra fifteen. And yeah, they, they it's that chance to to just speed things up. It needs to be sped up. Yeah, that's why we if always you're not Capital like if yeah, dude, or that's, Skyhook is because we're we're you we land the places with the big buildings that there's fucking four teams at. Right, you get your loot. Honestly, the areas are big enough, unless yeah. somebody lands on you. Yeah, it's, dude, that's that clip rough. I had last night was fucking. I was dying laughing. Well, when we punched him out. When I was punching yeah. that octane, yeah, we land that one place. He runs, and I'm we're both running towards white armor. Mm -hmm. He grabs it. Yeah. I punch him. <laughs> I jump up. I kick him, and then he like runs out the door. I'm like, dude, I'm just gonna fucking follow you, you stupid idiot. <laughs> so he opens the door. I punch him in the back. I shove him all the way through. He picks up a Mozambique. I punch him again, and he's like, boom, boom. I jump up and I kick him. And he's dead. I'm like, <laughs> dude, you gotta show me that clip. I'll send it to you. It's, yeah, it's on do. my it's on my Twitch. Okay, yeah, I might go there and look at it then. On um, three days, I'm definitely hitting you guys with the prime Fuck sub. Yeah, oh my dude. god, man! Thank you so much. What's dude. what's in three days? Wednesday. In three we'll days, we'll, yeah. Let's make sure we're streaming Wednesday. I'm here to stay, gents. Yeah, we, we will. He, be. Yeah, Tyler I streams stream primarily the on the Roach Room channel. I have my own, obviously, but. Yeah. Um, and we usually do like a multi-stream thing where it's like if just because we're, we're not, no one's partnered. Yeah, so it's we one can't of those do squad things mode. where. Um, <laughs> if um, you can see all our angles and whatnot, yeah, exactly, um, which is cool. But yeah, man, I really appreciate that. Fuck Thank yeah, you man. so much, dude. We really do appreciate that. It it means the fucking world. To I us. do enjoy playing Apex. I will continue to enjoy playing yeah. Apex because honestly, ranked, so much better. casual, ranked. ranked. Yeah, ranked. I don't. I don't know why. Why? No I don't clue. Know. It's, it's so much better. It, it it really is, dude. I'm so glad that you said that. Whoever kisses my ass the most gets I'll lick your ass. Mostly. Holy shit. Whoa, I can't do that. That's where poo-poo comes out of. I don't like that. My tongue doesn't Try touch me. any poo-poo, bro. But, I mean, hey. <laughs> you give me two subs, I might lick your poo-poo hole. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what, you want a, what you want, a cheesesteak and a cold cut? I got your subs right here, bitch. <laughs> Let me get 500 bits for a booty hole lick. Oh, um, yeah. Five out. <laughs> um, but, yeah, dude, so. I, yeah, we, we, we know, bro. <laughs> this, is, this is us. Yeah, if this not, is Now this you is know comedy. how weird I am. Um, but, yeah, man, I, I do like the map a lot. I just, I think it just takes a, a long I time. I want to know the lore behind it. Where the, what, where the fuck was it? It's did they have mining, that out? It's, yeah, it's. They it's, do have uh, that out because I never looked into it. Uh, like, like the ice? Here and there. <laughs> uh, cheered five bits, baby. Here, that's fine. Give me that that's booty hole. Closer, you better bro. start spreading them cheeks, bitch. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Thanks, brother. We appreciate that. We do. We appreciate oh the shit out of that. Will five work? Yeah, five's yeah, good five. enough. <laughs> five's good enough. <laughs> Get over to Baltimore quick. I gotta. We'll finish this up. I got the Ravens game soon. <laughs> he said, "Open wide, fucker." Oh my god. <laughs> I love you, dude. This is our favorite person. Coming in with chat, the people's dude. elbow. Yeah, I was going to say. Just polished awesome. it. Freshly cleaned. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But the map's good. I do really enjoy it. I just think it takes players a little while to get used to it. The only other thing that I want to talk about Apex-wise before we get into the Joker breakdown is... um Skins? How about them? Oh, okay. Well, then, love, hate. Then two more love, hate. Love them. Love, love them. the Battle Pass skins. All right, and now we're the, done with the skins. Sky emotes. All that shit's cool. Battle Pass, everything is great. Okay, now we're done. Very good this time. Your topic? Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice, I like that. Um, fuck, I just forgot what I was going to say. Shit. Hold good. on. Fuck, dude, you fucked me up. That was so good. There's something about the map. Um, um. The lava? Damn. No. Um, fuck. Shit. The name? No. Nope. Um. God damn it, dude. Oh, well, I lost it. It's literally gone. I don't know <laughs> what I was talking about. <laughs> Shit. Somebody remind me in the chat. You're welcome. Um, brain meats. Use it. Oh, I got it. Okay. As soon as I said brain I, meats. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm such a weird human being. Dashy. Yeah. Season. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Right. <laughs> woo, woo. 
Why are you still echoing? <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Can you edit that? Well, yeah, I will. I will. I'll make that a clip. Um, I'll, I'll tag Dashy on Twitter or YouTube or whatever. Um, I'm lightheaded. Anyway. It's like a nicotine head high. I need to laugh that hard more <laughs> there often. There you go. Um, I've heard on Reddit that, oh, that Kings good. Canyon's coming back for a limited Halloween. time event. For Halloween, I've heard mm-hmm. it's at nighttime. That's going to be fucking cool. I feel like that's going to be super tight. Um, And I believe that there's cosmetics coming out for that exclusive as Dude, well. Dude, I mean, look at that lifeline. Yeah, that lifeline in the battle. Oh. She looks like a fucking like, demon. It's dope. Um, Y'all need some furniture. That echo is serious. Is there uh, a, lot, a big echo? Is Damn. it coming from me because I'm a loud person in general? We might just be able to turn my mic down a little. Yeah, and your mic needs to go like that. Oh, my bad. There you go. That might be why. Anyway, it's fine. Oh, well. When the podcast comes out on Spotify, I edit it and noise gate it, and it usually fixes it all up most of the time. Yep, yep. Sorry about that, man. Yeah, no problem. Sorry for the inconvenience. Yeah, it might be his voice going into into my mic as well. Like, the pop filter might might not be catching. All right, sweet. I was ad-libbing the echo. Y'all's audio is fine. Oh! Oh, okay. I don't know. Oh, uh, when I was doing the echo, what yeah, the fuck? I'm, I'm dumb, we're dumb dude. dude. We're so stupid, bro. The other <laughs> thing, too. The other thing, too. I won't lie to you, Razor, in the chat. The other thing, too, dude, is literally we've had so many problems on this podcast with, like, our fucking content. Like, we're like, Chris is Michael be off for 40 minutes or my Michael be fucked up for 40 minutes or something like that. So whenever someone says we're echoing... Um, y'all making me fucking <laughs> snort laugh. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, so when we when we do our podcast and shit, when people tell us stuff like that, we just automatically assume that it's our tech like fucking up. But we appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, glad we're making you laugh, dude. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, so I think Kings Canyon's coming back as a Halloween theme. Which they is cool. did they did say they were trying to figure out how they're gonna fit Kings Canyon back into it. I, I don't even so, want like them to a bring playlist. it back yet. I don't want him to bring it back yet either. Yeah, Absolutely I not. The new map. Like, don't don't give me just a week. Give me like a month. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, like I want it to be the like the last two weeks of uh, of October. I think they should bring it back with the. So Halloween you just want event. like you just want two weeks on the new map? Well, no, no, no. Like I want Kings Canyon limited. Oh, oh, for two okay, weeks, okay. And after that, fuck Kings Canyon for the rest of season three. Yeah. I don't even want it. Want it. That'd to be, be yeah. There. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, and then season maybe four, for LTM modes. Yeah, maybe like, for like those like those character events. Yeah, like um, I'll be down with that. Yeah, hell yeah, bros, I feel right at the fuck at home hell here. Yeah, I dude. love it. That's what we Welcome like. Welcome home. Yeah. I got the doormat. I was gonna say for you. we have uh, we have this is our 15th episode. We have 14 episodes all up on Spotify and YouTube. Uh, go check them out if you want to. Yo, speaking of the Halloween, real quick, what do y'all what are y'all doing? I'm heading up to a party. My girl dresses as Shaggy. And Shaggy Velma. and Velma. Nice. Man. I didn't think um, that that. I, don't know I didn't think I'm they'd doing. be a couple. Hey, Fred. We're what? Whatever we're doing for fucking Halloween is gonna be litty because it's October thirty first. My birthday day, is October thirtieth. Yeah, and the next day we can all. Well, I he'll already be able to drink. I don't know. I, I'm gonna. I don't be know if people drunk. are celebrating the weekend before or the weekend after. Lee Ball said he's taking us out on November first, which is so a that'll Friday. be the weekend after. We are going to a place called Power Plant Live, most likely. Yeah, probably. They got a pretty dope costume contest and whatnot. Yeah. He said, yo, Thanks, happy man. birthday, my guy. Appreciate yeah. it. Um, so, yeah. But with that all being said, Apex Season 3 so far, very well done. It's a little buggy and stuff. They need some quality of life. Uh, they need some little, little hot fixes up, little yeah. updates. But other than that. Other than that, I'm loving it. I think yeah. it's great. Yeah. Um, didn't like it at first. After I'm played it a while. Like it. After I we like played crypto. it and got decent and finally got nineteen hundred fucking damage in one match, yeah, I'm yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, think it, I'm back to the old roots. It's I just, just yeah, all, all situational, it and who the fuck is our third? Yeah, God, because it's changed. Yeah. Yep. Um, that's for sure. Uh, so with that being said, that's pretty much our sum up of Apex season three. Season now three we're gonna is, get down good. into the, the nitty Joker. gritty. Yeah, we're gonna break down the movie. The, the Joker nitty for gritty. You guys. This shit was. Um, did someone say third? Right, dude. Well, right, man. You got PS4, you motherfucker. Got PS4, you got PS4 and a Zim? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, we do need a third, though, for uh, for PS4. How much is a Zim um, for? Because that's what Lupo used to use playing D2 all the time. 
Not sure. Hey, actually, he used to play in Destiny One, D One. Oh wow! He started. He's that's all he used. Huh? That's weird. I didn't even know that. Always. <laughs> you ever see his like uh like Twitter clips and YouTube clips on like from way back in D One? No. Shit was crazy. Really? It was so you got yeah, dude. Go on a fucking black hole of Lupo clips from okay. from five years ago. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's crazy. Um. Yeah. So what I want to do here. For Joker, because I think put on a happy. Face. <laughs> this film for me, um, I, one Dude, this highly film, anticipated. This film fucked me up. Yeah. Um. It. So what I want to do. It spoke to me. Um. Ew. <laughs> Xbox for console, dude. I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> yeah, very. I'm very sorry about that. I haven't that. seen Joker yet, so don't get too heavy into spoilers. Oh, uh, um, you might want to so, see well, it first, brother. This this is what I'm gonna. This uh, is what I'm gonna do. I was gonna say. This is what I'm gonna do. Any spoilers? We're gonna talk spoiler free as long as we can, and then once we can't anymore, we will we're gonna say. say spoilers and give you guys like ten seconds to to either get the fuck out or you can leave the stream up and lurk and just mute it. You can do whatever you want. Right, no disrespect or Hold anything. Hold on, Razor. To are you? <laughs> fucking tell me everything. Oh my god. Yo, are you in the Baltimore area or where do you know. live? Cause we're actually, I think I'm pretty sure I'm going again on Tuesday. I will be going. And with it's him. five bucks. Where but, we are going? I just didn't know if yeah. you were around this area or what. If you're located in Baltimore, Maryland, we will be going to the Towson Cinemark. Oh, he's Tuesday. in Florida. Damn. No worries, yeah, dude. man. Take a, take a fucking flight up here. Jesus. We'll go see it on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. FaceTime me. I'll Skype you in. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it's okay, man. No worries. Florida's crazy. Um, but, yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to talk spoiler-free and just give, like, a, a, a you mm-hmm, know, remedial mm-hmm. breakdown of it. Um, Thoughts. Of just what we liked, what we didn't like, or whatever. And Ma- then, yeah, mainly like visuals, nothing yeah, story based exactly. to it at all. And then once that's done, we'll tell everybody this is the spoiler section of it. So if you don't, you know, if you guys leave the stream and stuff, it's totally fine. We get it. Like, go see the movie. That's the yeah. main thing the we, main thing get we want you to see. Is go see the fucking movie. It's really good. Don't look at the fucking stupid reviews that people are leaving. Do not. Right. There, there's I mean, a- you can. But fuck them. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things <laughs> that, that are getting associated with this movie that <laughs> the that the media and oversensitive Sallies are getting really fucking crazy on it and shit like that. Fuck the Sallies. So yeah, so it's one of those things where dickheads. Um, yeah. So let's just break it down. So I'll ask Stone first, and then we'll get into my shit or whatever. Yeah, so, yeah. What, it, ask me. Interview. First, me. first question: Did you like the movie? Was I fucking good? loved the movie. Out of ten, what would you give I, it? I already told you this the other day. I'm giving that a ten out of ten. I would see 10 out that. Of ten movie. If I could, if I could watch that, I wouldn't want to overwatch it, obviously. But like I mm-hmm. said, I'm going to see it again on Tuesday. Okay. I want to go see it again on Tuesday because that shit yeah. blew my fucking mind. How was Joaquin Phoenix's performance in the film? After hearing, um, like everybody, I don't know, I don't know if they were bitching and complaining that he was like walking off set. Or, like, walking out of the scene because he didn't feel comfortable or, like, into it. I but looked into that, by the way. All that's false. All that's false. Like, he didn't walk off set. He did nope. it genuinely. Nope. I mean, like, none of that happened. No. All that. But, but how There's... genuine those scenes were, dude, I was like. I know. I don't think I could ever act like that. Never. He's incredible in the film. He's a 10 out of 10 actor yeah. for this movie you alone. You think he's going to get an Oscar for it? I fucking hope so. If yeah, he I think, doesn't, I think he'd, if he doesn't, I would. I think it's Oscar worthy. I think so. Yeah. 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 Um, um so <clears throat> it's one of those things with me where, um, okay. So yeah, Joaquin's Phoenix, Joaquin Phoenix's performance and shit was spectacular in the film. <coughs> Did definitely, you Razor. They, definitely. Did you think they did the character of Joker because it's so new? The way that they did it, without getting into spoilers, do you think that they paid good homage to the comic book character? Yes. Because of the laugh, but also the medical condition. Fuck. Did you like how <laughs> realistic the movie was? Dealing yeah. with his character. Especially because, seeing out in, like, public. 
Yeah. Because everything that happens in the, in, in the film to him – to is propel shit that, him forward into the, honestly, into the Joker. It's all plausible. It's all shit that happens now. In real all life, All shit yeah. that happens today. And I think that's what's scaring people. That that's that's a hundred percent. That's the because whole movie. People don't want to be because they see how they. Uh, he's got a mental uh, a mental condition. That's not yeah. a spoiler. Yeah. He's got that. They've said that in the beginning. Yeah. He's been and through trauma. He's been through yeah a, a trauma, a traumatic incident, and whatever. He's already nuts, right? He's already nuts. He's just making they're just making this guy that is yeah. already crazy just blow his fucking lid. Yeah. And he's like right on the line of, literally of just, losing it the entire like first two acts. Yeah. And then once he loses it, he Dude. really loses it. D- um so- There's a certain there's a certain scene mm-hmm. and I I remember it specifically because you fucking you looked right over at me. That twist, yeah, was crazy. I kn- I knew, I knew it because so, going in, I knew how Looney Tooney was. Yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna be a hundred percent genuine, like real in the movie. I knew something right. was gonna there's, happen. There, there are certain things that I feel like they captured with that character because in the comic books, the jo- in the Killing Joke, essentially. The Joker, I love that fucking Batman asks yeah. the Joker essentially about his origin, and Joker tells him about his origin, and Batman's like, I know all that's not true. And he's like, yeah, but I prefer my, my past to be multiple choice. <laughs> so in the film... Yeah. Oh, dude, I remember that. Yeah, and in the film, and that's that's the killing joke, is that <sighs> I know Joker makes Batman laugh by saying that. And Batman and him are both laughing in the comic book about it. And it that's when it gets weird because you're like, oh, whoa. Like, mm-hmm. Joker's yin to Batman's yang. Anyway, but in the film, they really, really do um, – they really do uh, fucking do a good job of, of establishing that in the film. Like, they, they do – there are certain things in the film that happen that you're like – what in the fuck? How is this gonna tie into the main story? And then once it once it does, you're like, whoa! Like you know what I mean? Or it just kind of flips on you, right? Um, Razor, you the man. Yeah, thanks. Have a Razor. good day, bro. Yeah, dude. Enjoy your you're day. Awesome. Hopefully the Pats lose because I fucking hate Tom Brady. Oh, just kidding. I love you, dude. Um, <laughs> Talk shit. Um, but yeah, man. So with Joker itself, um, I thought it was shot beautifully. Everything in the movie, camera-wise, the camera work was incredible. Um, the, 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 oh my god, the score, the music was chilling. The score? Yeah, the musical score. Oh, oh my god, I was like... <laughs> yeah, the score, uh, they won by like 50 There's a points. scoreboard uh, up there? No, so, yeah, the musical score during the film was, in my opinion, was breathtaking. I'm a music producer and everything outside of here, so when shit kicks on... Like, in a, in a movie when they're having, like, a scene and it's supposed to be, like, dark and there's music that is being played there, I very much analyze that kind of stuff because I'm like, you know, it either hits and it's amazing like it was in this film or it overstays its welcome and it's not resonating with when me and shit like that. When he's dancing on those fucking steps. Oh, my that's, God. That's not a spoiler either. That's, no, also, that in in that's also in the trailer. Yeah. But, like, the very extended version of that. Yeah. Very good. Dude. Very, very good. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah. He's got so, the fucking makeup on, dude. It was, dude. The, and you know what's funny is he's that he's so frail. It was. Oh man. Yeah. When he, he lost, dude, he lost when over you fifty pounds. Come in, and you see his like fucking shoulders. Back. Just. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. When he's stretching the I'm shoe. I'm like, dude. When he was stretching yeah. the shoe, and uh, and he's like all angry. I was like, God damn. He looks like uh, fucking. Christian Bale and the Machinist, if you've ever seen the Machinist. How do you think this is going to affect him? Joaquin? Mm-hmm. He's fine. I've already watched interviews of him. He's already put on all the weight and everything. He's but already back to normal. I get that, but Heath Ledger, it also took him how long? I don't think I don't think anything like that's going to happen to Joaquin. I fucking hope not, because that yeah. was really good. I hope I, there's more to I think, um, I think more Joaquin to come. has a good... Um, well, he also didn't do any method acting for it. Yeah. Like, And that's that's where I think it starts to get a little weird is because you either when you when it comes to method acting man like you either 
you're either in it full force and and you lose some of yourself or you you like you, I feel like Joaquin Phoenix has and Joaquin's a lot older than Heath Ledger was to be honest too. Yeah, he's also so, m- more seasoned. Yeah, and in and different in different has, roles. Yeah, you, multiple films under big multiple yeah. films under oh, yeah. his belt. So it's one of those things for me where when I look at a person like Joaquin and I I see his interviews afterwards and stuff and it, the film's been over for him for months now. I'm like, oh, no, he's fine. Like, everything he's... I mean, dude, his main focus on this film was basically just mental health. Like, everybody that's talking about that's this all film I was. Is, that's and, what and, I was mainly talking about. I wasn't talking about uh, his appearance. I'm talking yeah. about his brain. Like, how yeah, the fuck he's... Very, like, what he's very, thinking of. It, and, well, like, and he's good, is, though. That journal uh, that he had, that's all his. They gave him that journal at the beginning of the film, and they said, just go crazy. Write whatever you want. And he wrote down whatever he wanted all that shit in there that's all joaquin like the the like weird shit that you see in i there, hope in my death it makes more sense than yeah, my life that's his writing he made that up that's fucking dude that's so um, dark i know uh, this movie is fucking dark and it was so you know it's hilarious good he doesn't even have that journal anymore they took it from him and they won't give it back i wouldn't either but he said one of the uh, one of the fucking prop leads like has it, and he was like, "I want it back." <laughs> and then he's like, oh, I've, "I've tried to get it back." And Bitch, that's like, my journal. Yeah, like nobody's giving it to that me. That shit's dark, though. Yeah. Um. So I mean, um, without getting into spoilers, you already said ten out of ten. I, I would 10 probably out of give 10. it. Um. I, to be honest, I'd probably give it a nine. Okay. Um. The only reason I'm deducting. Explain points, yourself. Yeah. Yep. Um, the only reason I'm deducting points, have you ever seen King of Comedy or Taxi Driver? Yes. You have? Yes. Okay. That Taxi, movie. Taxi Driver. With Robert De Niro? Yes. Okay. That movie literally is Taxi Driver and King of Comedy. Like, that's why De Niro is in it. It's because huh. he's playing Jerry Lewis's character from King of Comedy. No shit. However, <laughs> it's done so fucking well, and it pays homage to those movies especially with de niro being in it um that for me i'm like i just wish that i mean dude there like when there are scenes in this film that are literally cookie cutted out of taxi you'll have driver. to you'll have to tell me which ones I will. because i i wasn't really looking at that so i wasn't really thinking about putting two and two together it's like I said before, it's not something that bothered me. I love those two films, and I love the Joker film because of that. But it's one of those things for me where I'm like, you know, I get you want to pay homage to the source material. I get you want to impress Scorsese because he sent the script to Scorsese, and Scorsese told him, like, it was awesome and shit like that. Um, and I, dude, to be honest, I've watched a lot of interviews with Todd Phillips and Joaquin and stuff after we got out of the movie. I did like not, that. dude. I need, oh you, I need you to link me some I of those. Went, dude, I'll watch yeah. them. On, all over YouTube, there's like 30 minute okay. videos of all Ooh. of the cast <laughs> sitting down and shit. No, I'll listen dude, to that on awesome. my way to work. It's very good. No, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't very, saying it's long. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, okay. Like, when when am like, I going to take a half yeah. hour out of just no, no, listen to an interview? It's very good, man. Work, lunch. I get an hour and a half from a lunch, dog. What's up? Damn. Um,. But, yeah, so it's one of those things for me where, like I said, the only reason I'm deducting a little bit of points is, um, you know, the the movies were very much paying homage to those two movies, but they were done so well that I I appreciated it. It's just like, ah, man, like, there's some of the stuff in there that I'm like, ah, like, your source material is is really, really close with those two movies, and that's the only thing I'm deducting points for. Everything else in the film was absolutely spectacular. Um, The only other thing that... um, felt a little bit lackluster up until the end um the end made me like be like oh like that's why but um i felt like his love interest in the film i i felt like her role was really like i was like why are you even in this film like yeah. you know what I mean? until the end and i was like oh that's why yeah um, so that um, was that's probably like my favorite part yeah i knew it was gonna happen i didn't know that would happen but i didn't know when yeah Right. Multiple choice, baby. <laughs> no, I just didn't know if it was gonna be revealed. No, I know. I'm beginning. Just, yeah. Middle. It's weird because a lot of people or, are telling, uh, like, a lot of reviewers are saying mm-hmm. on the second time through, and well, I guess we'll find out on Tuesday. But like the second time through or the third time through, you start to notice 
little things in those sequences of the film. That are just not actually there? That, well, you, you just, you, you're like looking at it and you're like, no, it's not. It's like, you can just tell after the, the second time. And okay. not in a way where you're like, oh, well, this we'll is Well, we'll talk bullshit. about it. We'll definitely talk yeah. about it Tuesday then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I'm going to, I'm going to be asking like, so what did you see? What did you notice? Yeah. What did you notice? Right. I think it's more so of just like characters doing things in, uh. In that film where it's like, th- that would never happen. Like, they just met. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So, it's like things like that where it's like, where like, you, or also, I've also noticed this too. Fuck, I, I don't want to. Don't spoil I'll it. Wait, I'll, I'll wait. Yeah, wait. Uh, I'll wait like a couple more minutes. Yeah, wait a couple minutes and I'll then. I'll wait five more minutes and then at one thirty we'll get into our spoiler breakdown. Um. So, yeah, it's one of those things for me where the film itself, it's shot beautifully. The dialogue, the script is incredible. Um, All the filter pops and everything in every single scene are absolutely phenomenal. Fantastic performance from Joaquin Phoenix. Um, The the lady who plays his mom, I I forget her name, I'm sorry. Penny Fleck? Um, that's not the actress. Yeah, name. but it's his just, mom. That's his mom's uh, thing. The actor, she's in American Horror Story. It's yeah, the lady with the like weird eyes. She's also in How I Met Your Mother. She's Barney's mom. Um, but her performance, I thought, was absolutely fantastic. Oh too. yeah, dude, very believable. She, she's really good at playing those kind of people. It's weird. What? Just confused and. Well, I, and every like thing that she plays, she's very avant garde in everything that she plays. Like I remember watching her in American Horror Story Coven. Oh, and she's yeah. like she's she's like a fashion like weirdo <laughs> and stuff and it's just I don't know I she just, just like gets her. into it she's a weirdo she yeah. gets into like, that she's role really weird or I she love it. or is she already that role I feel like she already is <laughs> like to be honest I, I feel like she's like fucked up like and I that's why I like her I'm like yeah. every every film that she's been in or or TV show I try to check out because I'm like I just like her like she's cool like uh, she reminds that's, me of like a I'm a, probably the same way with Jeremy Renner. Yeah. He's a fucking badass. Yeah. Like, I mean, you just like people. Like, I, I like Joaquin Phoenix. That's one yeah. of the reasons I wanted to see the film is because I was like, I love Joaquin Phoenix. I want to see what he I does. I saw the art work. Oh, okay. Like, the just like the outfit, yeah. like the paint, the hair. I'm I'll like, tell you what. When the, dude. The photo of him first came out as the Joker, and, and I won't lie to you, I didn't like it. Why? I don't know. It just felt weird. It did. It. it I was like, um... I don't know. That one right there that says what, Joaquin the Phoenix and Joker. Yeah, yeah. That is so good. There yeah, it is. Yeah, that one looks good. Yep, yep. Um, I just saw it uh, on the playback of the stream, dude. The, yeah. It's that one, and it's the um, it's the other one that's just his face, right? The, the one that you have in this loop right here. Mm-hmm. It's fucking nuts. I, I, love, the, I love the makeup. I do, too. In the film, like, that's what I'm saying, like... I think I told you this when we were getting out of the movie, but I was like, man, when they when they have the final product of Joker in the film and when he's in the the suit and he's got the green hair and he's got mm-hmm. the makeup on and everything, I was worried about what was going to be said or what was going to be done or how he was going to act. And then that first scene where he comes out and he's on the top of the steps and he's got a cig in his mouth and he's just fucking – dancing and Loopy. having a and it's yeah. literally him being like i accept who i am now i don't fucking care and oh my I, my jaw dropped i was like oh my fucking god shit's like, about to get yes, real he's so good in the film mm-hmm. um what about the homage to batman in the film because uh, a lot of people are saying in uh in well thomas stuff, wayne had a lot to do with his mom anyway i i just mean a lot of people are saying the bruce wayne shit and like, and by the way, that guy in that scene uh, where he's at the gate, you know who that Englishman is, right? Yeah. I didn't like him. No. I hated him. I was like, why is he such an asshole? Why is he a big guy? Why is he not who I want him to be? Yeah. Cast another person. Oh, please, get that man off of fucking Gotham. Yeah, I don't like him that's on season five that's on netflix by the way season five i'm about to watch it Not i loved really it. it i loved it i Fuck know you. i know it's <laughs> fine it's fine it's well, no. my cup of tea yeah um but yeah so 
a lot of people are saying that that felt tacked on, and I was like, no, I, I think I, I think they good. I think they put the least amount of time that was most necessary. Right. They didn't spend a right. fucking 45 minutes on it. Thank God. They brought it up, they addressed it, and then they moved on with Joaquin and Joker. Because that's what the movie's about. It's the that Joker. is not the movie's not about fucking Batman or no. Bruce Wayne or, or Thomas fucking Wayne Thomas or Wayne Martha or Martha. Or Bruce it's or not Alfred fucking about that. Yeah, like it. And, and it's about that guy. That's on the even, fucking screen right dude, now. Dude, I was even telling somebody, uh, or I was talking to somebody on Friday about the movie, and which they had seen it too. One, they had said, I'm worried about people seeing the movie. And I was like, why? And he was like, because I feel like it's going to influence people to do fucked up shit. And I, think I, and it, I, literally, I think it could. I don't. I literally told him, I was like, you I sound think like it a could, cock. I, I, sound honestly, like a cock. I think it could, it could give people too much confidence. No, I don't think so. Don't Not think to so. go that far as, as far as like riots and shit like that or like what he did in the movie, but more confidence in themselves to do something stupid, just not to that extent. I feel like the film shows you a good outcome of that. Arthur does something, uh, like you just said, mm -hmm. and he gets fucking locked up. And guess what? If you try and get out of there and you're in real life, you're going to die. You're going to so die. Yeah. Go ahead and be a moron. This ain't dude. Gotham. Yeah, like this ain't Arkham. I just don't like the whole fucking. Oh, uh, people are gonna start shooting people. Fuck off, dude. You sound like a cuck. Yeah, really. sorry. That's not. The I have a mental illness. I saw this. That's film, not the extent what? that I was e that I was going for. Either, no, I know, so. I know, I know. I, I like for me, there's a lot of stuff in the film that resonated with me, and I'm not gonna lie. When they there's things that happen in the film, I must just spoil it something. Uh, there's there's things that happen in the film where I almost I, I was tearing up because it it literally felt like shit that's happened to me in my real life. And I this was movie like, is so fucking good. <laughs> please, 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 please go see it. Yeah. And now it's time for fucking spoilers. So if you don't want us to spoil this for you, I'm giving you warning. All right. It's one thirty one forty five. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a, a good bit of time to get the fuck out of here. It is spoiler time, spoiler, so you spoiler, cannot spoiler, bitch spoilers. at me, you cannot yell at me, you can't do shit because I've given you now 15 seconds. I'm gonna wait five more and give you 20 seconds to get the fuck out of the just stream. Give a full 30, dude. To get out of the stream, yeah, just get, get or to get out of the out of the, out of the podcast, audio or the YouTube or yeah, any wherever start, you're listening. Just pause it. Pause it. Go see the fucking That's movie. A great idea. Come back. Pause it right here. If you're going to see the movie, pause it right here. And then when you get out of the movie, play it right if here. If you don't care, stay then, on then, in yeah, here. Yeah, then stay here stay and listen here and to what just, we got to say. Just don't pause it. Um, so, yeah, give you a so, rundown. But, but, yeah, but pause it. And now we're getting into it. And go. So, holy fuck, guys. Alfred Spoilers. Alfred's in the movie. Me off. All, Alfred's a fucking asshole. He was in, in the movie. movie for 35 seconds and he pissed me off. Yeah, he basically tells uh, Arthur, Arthur approaches Bruce Wayne uh, it, like in the trailer, you see Bruce Wayne behind a gate and basically tells Bruce that... He's his brother. He's his brother and he's also t telling, well, he tells Bruce in the course of telling Arthur because he's like talking loud. And yeah. Bruce is like eight, so he doesn't understand what the fuck's going on. Yep. And... This guy's, like, putting his fingers in his fucking mouth, and he's just like, what? Like, I mean, if I was a yeah. kid and somebody was doing that to me, I'd be like, I'm scared now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm literally like, pissing myself. Yeah, like, I, why are you <laughs> sticking your fingers in my mouth? But anyway. Um, Dude, when fucking Thomas Wayne punched him in the face. All right, well, background. Uh, Arthur's mother, Penny, Penny Fleck, is, delusional. is very, very delusional and thinks that Thomas Wayne had a love interest in her and they oh no she thinks that they had coitus i d i wasn't then oh okay my bad sorry he she feels like that he is in love with her and does sexual things with her got her pregnant had arthur so <coughs> the only thing that she's said to arthur is that your father is thomas wayne and so it, and arthur therefore he thinks by reading her note to, she's been sending she's letters been sending... to Thomas for years, and and now this letter, Arthur finally opens it up because he never opens it up, and then he reads it, and, and she says, you know, like, you need to talk to your son and shit like that, and he's like, what the fuck? Like, so he thinks that Bruce Wayne is his brother, Thomas Wayne is his father. Right. He thinks that because 
of her delusional letter to Thomas Wayne. Right. Um, so, basically, to give you guys a rundown on what happens in Joker is, like, so, Arthur is a, is a clown. He's already a, clown a guy. Hire. He wants to be a he's comedian. A, yeah, he want, he's aspiring a comedian. He gets fucked over, basically, in every single situation that he gets into. Um, he you bombs. see that in the trailer. Yeah, he bombs he his bombs. comedy thing. He he's outside of a closing down store. He gets his sign stolen, and then he gets the shit kicked out of him. He gets mugged. Um, yep. then a couple scenes happen. Uh, you know, you go through the film with him. You you basically watch him. He you know go through his day to day. Uh, the movie's a slow burn. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's a slow burn. You literally watch him unfold as um. As the movie's progressing so, on. So, it says that he has a, a has a mental illness, which is obviously, yes, he yeah, does. Yeah, like a condition. But he also has a condition where he will laugh uncontrollably in awful scenarios. So, you guys remember that scene when he's on the bus, right? And he's making little faces at the little kid, like, like all the fucking weird shit, whatever. Yeah. Making faces at the kid. He's laughing. The mom turns around and says, can you stop, was it bothering my kid? He goes... I wasn't, I wasn't bothering. bothering yeah, because he's laughing. The kid's <clears throat> laughing. He's the like, kid, oh, yeah. Like. And then something very, very serious happens, and he's just bursting out in his cackle, and it is yeah. fucking fantastic. It's beautiful, yeah. His, his he's laugh laughing all movie. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit is so good. It's it, one of the. Things, that was an awful impersonation. I apologize. It's fine. Um, one of the things that I thought was really cool about the film, especially dealing with his laugh, was. During the film, there were sections of the film where he would laugh, um, and and it looked like it was physically tolling on him, like it looked like he was hurting his throat, like he yeah he like would, he he would cough or no he would, he would burp grab, yeah he, he would, would burp yeah and he would grab his throat he'd convulse and be like oh, like that and everything while he's and laughing. he's like holding. His yeah, you. It just. It looked like he. Just it, fucking, it looked like he was nuts, in pain. Dude. He was uncomfortable. It, it. It looked like every time he laughed, it would make him laugh more because then mm -hmm. he's thinking about everybody and looking at him. And how serious it is. It's right. all serious. Um. Awful. Like, like someone yeah. could have died, and he'd be laughing. Um. So yeah. He so basically. Uh, um. Conditions. Yeah. Um. There's a scene where he's in a train car. There are three dudes that are. I want to say potential rapists. Yeah, they're they're, they're trying drunk. to they're trying to talk up a, a, a woman who's reading a book on yeah, the train. Yeah, they're they're like she throwing is, she French is attractive. Fries. Yeah, whatever. She is attractive, and now all they're really doing is just pestering the fuck out of her. Right. So and she yeah. she gets uncomfortable. <sighs> Are you fucking serious, dude? I fucking end it. We're live on the podcast. Why are you fucking calling me? Hello? Just fucking end it. <laughs> that just called me, everybody. I was trying to put on speakerphone for everybody, but... God damn it, dude! That's annoying. That um, is! Anyway, so, we're in this scene. These dudes, three dudes are talking to this girl. Then, it escalates pretty quickly. The girl leaves the situation, and Arthur is uncomfortable. In between this time period of when he's on this train and everything uh this this is in between when he got mugged when mm -hmm. he got the stein stolen and beaten up and 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 now in between there his his buddy who was another clown gave him a gun for for oh, personal fuck. personal protection that, dude. Sorry. for personal protection yeah and this guy's right, kind so of like he a had mafioso kind of looking dude he kind of looks like he a looked, fucking he looked like he was a little he's a, bit involved right, so in this, he's a, he's a big guy right yeah. he kind of looks like the dude that plays solomon grundy in yeah. um in Gotham, I forget who his name. It's, I've seen the It's guy. also Butch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, he's so so he's a big guy. He's one of the like the 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 fat clowns. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. just just for a just for a, a visual. Yeah. On that, that's that's what he looks like. Um, he gave he had given him a gun, and yeah. he has this with him on the on the train. Um, so when he starts laughing, as this kid's trying to sing, mm -hmm. or whatever. He's the, the that's just amping these guys up even more. They're on they're like fucking Wall Street guys. They're all yeah. amped up. Big shot. They're all yeah. fucking hammered out of their minds. Yeah. So they're ready so for a fight. They're ready. They're they're just yeah. They're just looking to yeah. 
so they start singing off Carnival steam. to yeah. Arthur. Yep. And they get right in his face, and they basically just keep asking him, what the fuck is so funny? After this, Arthur tries to s- tell him about his condition and all that shit. They he's end up trying. The he's shit looking. He's looking for the the, the card. card. Yeah, they don't he's care. Like, he's like going in his pockets. Like, wait, I'm. I... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, I can't find my card. <laughs> right. But they don't care. They just end up. So they kick the shit out of him. I'm surprised he... they didn't kick the gun. Yeah, he ends up getting the gun out and he kills all three of them. And then he 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 runs out uh, of the train. Uh, he goes to a bathroom, and this is the scene where just you change, first dude, it start changes. to see his transition into Joker, where he's looking at himself in a mirror, and you can tell that he is not bothered by what he just honestly, did, and he's comfortable. Honestly, well, you want to know where it really flipped? What? Is when that kid was running off the train, and he well, yeah, shot him in the back yeah. when he's on the stairs. Yeah. He stood there. And looked down like he was yeah, not worried. Bothered. No, not he bothered. he yeah. looked he looked down like he was worried. But when he got into that bathroom, he was completely yeah, fine. Yeah, cool as a cucumber. But uh, I'm gonna, I'm also gonna say this: if this pissed me off, he's got a six shooter, snub nose. Mm-hmm. He shot seven bullets, never reloaded. Pissed me off. Mm, I'm gonna count. He shot these, uh, he shot the first kid twice. He mm-hmm. shot the second kid once. He shot the, the, the third kid in the leg once. He ran out, and he shot him three more times. That's seven bullets. Mm. In a six-shooter snub nose revolver. Ah, oh, well. Hey, oh, anyway. I mean. <laughs> yeah, so he goes <laughs> that, to the that fucking me bathroom. Off. Dude, you heard me say it. I was sitting next to you. I was like, that was seven bullets. He didn't have that many. Whatever. I don't fucking care about that shit. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so he goes in the bathroom. He starts transitioning into Joker. He starts doing this crazy dance. The score kicks in. It's crazy chilling. Um, and then he um, he basically just progresses on from there. Can I, you introduce me as Joker? <laughs> yeah, I, I basically <laughs> just want to talk about the scenes that kind of stuck out to us, um, like spoiler wise and everything. So basically, after that, more shit happens in the film where um, some other plot devices are used, where stuff happens to his mom. His mom kind of explains some bullshit to him that he thinks is true, and it's not. And, um, and he kind of acts on that stuff. So now we're going to fast forward to the part where um, uh, where the uh, – whatever the fuck Robert De Niro's character in there, Murray. Murray. Um, I don't know his last name. It's Murray. He's basically yeah. uh, basically it's a Jerry David Lewis. Letterman. <laughs> it's Jerry yeah, Lewis it's Jerry from Lewis. Taxi Driver. <laughs> Pretty much. So that's um, that's his role. Yeah, so somebody I calls, thought he played that well too. Yeah, so Arthur performs – at a um, uh, comedy show. Underground comedy show. Somebody finds the video of his tape reel. They give it to Robert De Niro's show, which is a late night talk show. Uh, they, they call him. him to get on the show because a lot of viewers are responding I thought to that was Arthur's a delusion. videos. Huh? I thought that was oh, a delusion. Yeah. Uh, that's another thing in this film. There is a lot of dream sequence, delusion sequences. The first time you film. see it, you might not recognize might not it until the very end. Yeah. Um, and it's, so, that was so good. Yeah, so, so suspenseful. Th- these people call him. They tell him, hey, we got an opening for next Thursday. We want you on the Maury, Maury show. And we, we, you know, like, is this cool? For Murray. You? Murray. It's not, Please not, don't. Yeah, it's, whatever. Don't I don't fucking with care. Murray. I'm Maury, dude. <laughs> um, yeah. You are not the father. <laughs> you are not the Joker. Um, but, yeah, anyway. So, all this shit happens. We're going to fast forward to the day where um, where he, he goes. He tries to meet Thomas Wayne. Thomas Wayne, he, he follows Thomas Wayne to this theater, right? This is the theater that um, that they go back to at the end as well. This is the same theater same that theater Martha and, and Thomas, Thomas will Wayne be getting shot at. Get in any murdered. Batman sequence that you see. Yep. Thomas and Martha Wayne walk out of a movie theater with and Bruce, in this, and they get shot. In this situation, it is the Joker that causes them to leave the theater instead of the Joker doing instead the of deed. yes, yeah. Uh, which I thought I liked a lot. I better. liked, I liked yeah, oh yeah. A lot better. It was all of the it was all of the, the the sequences that he. It was just the situation that he was in and all the roles that he was playing at that very moment that right. made them leave. Yeah. So Arthur that set them up uh, in that alley to be shot. He basically goes to Thomas Wayne, he addresses Thomas and says, in a bathroom, and he says, you know, hey man, like, I'm your kid. Like, I don't, 
know what the fuck's going on, but, like, I just need some, some fucking love, dude. Like, what the fuck? Calls him dad. So, yeah. It's really awkward, and like, in the scene. It's very awkward feeling. Like, you literally feel bad for Joaquin Phoenix because you know, at this point, you literally you know, know that it's, obviously that it's not. not. It never was. Right. So, Thomas basically If you're a says, Batman or Joker fan, you already know that it right. obviously wasn't. But... In so, this case. So Thomas basically breaks it down for Arthur and says, look, your mom is delusional. She's crazy. We had to get her off the premises because she was not stable and all this, that, and the other. And basically tells him it's all big old fat lie. Because, um, yeah, they also sent her to the um, the so, mental hospital. Well, they sent her to Arkham Asylum. Essentially. Yeah. I think it was called something else. Yeah, something like they did Arkham call it State something Hospital else. or something Some like that. Some stupid Whatever. shit. Anyway, so he tells I, him that. Joaquin Phoenix doesn't really respond well to this. And but he Thomas also Wayne... goes to that. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? I don't fucking know. Sorry, excuse me. I snizzed. So he what? He goes to the what? He went to the actual hospital. The mental hospital. Yeah. To find well, the records. Thomas punches him in the face. He's like, you're oh fucking crazy, dude. Man, he socks him right he... in the mouth. Right dude. in the nose. Yeah, like, Jesus Right on fuck. the... <laughs> yeah. Um, well, anyway, yeah, so that happens. Arthur leaves. He goes to basically the place where Thomas tells him his mom was at. He tries to get some files from this dude. Um, actually, a really interesting sequence where the guy is kind of like... Reading um, off. Yeah, he's reading off, but you can tell like the guy's genuine. He's like, oh, okay, well, this son just like wants to know what happened. Right. And then Arthur says something to this guy that kind of resonated with me in a way where I was like, oh, shit. And where he says, you know... I kind of did something bad recently, and I thought it was going to bother me, but it but really it hasn't. And, and, he's and the like, guy's like, dude, what? I'm just a clerk. Yeah. and, and You and might want to talk to somebody. Right. So it, eventually this guy starts to realize that Arthur isn't stable, and the guy tells him, hey, man, sorry, I can't release these records. They're not well, public. Well, he couldn't like, either anyway, right. even if so he wanted to. Arthur reaches through, <laughs> and he grabs him. And I thought this was pretty cool how they did this sequence where the guy is holding the, the file. Arthur is holding the file through the window, and he's trying to bring it back to him. And the way he gets the fucking file is he slams his fucking head into the gate, causing the dude to go, whoa, like that, mm -hmm. and let go of the file. And then he just bolts out of the fucking hospital mm -hmm. and, um, and is reading the file. And then obviously the he, he breaks down and is like, what the fuck? is happening and that's when you find out why Arthur is the way that he is and it's because his mom used to let her boyfriends and everything she, her, well hold on his mom would tie him up in the fucking basement and lock him down there after that she would let her whatever boyfriend or whatever she was fucking around with they beat the fucking shit out of him that's why every time in the film him. Arthur locks up and he just sits there and lets he just people takes kick the, the shit out of right. him because he takes he's so it. used to it and he's always, you know, he's always... Grew up in the fetal position. He's always position. getting, you know, the shit kicked out of him. Yep. So, at this point, Arthur, per, you know, propels into sheer and utter madness. This this news is the last fucking straw. Like, he's done with everything. So he's been lied to his whole fucking life. Yeah, and there's two cops that have been following Arthur around this entire time because of uh, those three dudes that die in the film. It's starting to influence people to do crazy shit. Uh, and wear, like, clown makeup and shit all the time. So those cops talk to Arthur's mom in the course of this happening. They cause her to have a stroke because they're asking her all of these questions about, that are yeah, legitimately real. And she doesn't want to deal with it because she's fucking delusional. And she's nuts. Yeah. So Arthur goes to that hospital where his mom's at. And he starts talking to her. And he and this is where you hear in the, the, the trailer that, you know, I used to think my life was just a tragedy. And now I just realized it's just a fucking comedy. And that's literally verbatim the line in the film. I think in the trailer they X'd out the fucking or whatever. Yeah. And they just said my life's a comedy. But anyway, so then he kills his mom with a pillow. Her with he suffocates the pillow. her because he's like, you're She's a fucking been lying bitch. To him you're been lying to me the entire, entire time. Life. And I'm adopted. You're, I'm not even your real fucking kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what you, we yeah, forgot you, to mention. Yeah. In the bathroom, Thomas that. Wayne actually yeah, he says you're adopted, and then, and then Arthur the, goes to the the, the files, files are in there. To figure out the files, the the adoption papers are in the files. Yeah, that and he, then everything's that he steals stamped and everything. And you're wondering, you're like, who the fuck cleared this bitch to adopt somebody? Right. But anyway, so it's a good actor. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus. In and out of real life. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> so anyway, um, after this happens, Arthur goes back home, and he's about to go on the TV show that he's been, you know, that, that De Niro's TV show. The he's Murray. getting prepped and ready. Murray. What the fuck was his last name? I don't know. Who cares? Murray. Uh, um, I thought it was Murray De Niro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Murray so, Moleface. Uh, so he goes back home, and this scene, to me, is one of my favorites, is he has just the white makeup on it's just white on his face and he looks fucking horrifying to me it's um, just the white just the white makeup on that's it so he's what he's doing his thing he's getting prepped he's getting ready there's a really cool sequence that we don't really have to get into but there's a really fucking dope ass sequence where he's uh he's imitating himself Getting onto the show. He's doing, he like, his own little It's, it's in his house. He, he's put up, like, a bed sheet in a hallway for the curtain. As it, yeah, and for it to be the curtain. he's playing an old episode, and he's imitating people walking out and greeting everyone so he, sound, yep. so he looks normal, mm -hmm. which was really cool. And then um, in the course of this, this scene plays out where um, he's going to tell a knock-knock joke on the show. And the knock and knock joke is him killing himself on the show. So the entire sequence of where he's killing his mom and he's getting to this point where he has white, fi white makeup on. Sorry, and green um, hair. Yeah, he did dye his hair. At the yeah, same, yeah, at the that's same time. true. Um, you're you're thinking the entire time, and I think I even remember looking over at you and being like, "God, I hope he doesn't kill himself during yeah, the oh, show." Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So that's the plot the entire time that you get to this point. So well, he. While, while he's doing that own the, his own skit in his house, and he does that knock knock joke, mm -hmm. he goes knock knock. Yeah, you he see leans, him. You see leans. him put the gun up to his chin and pull and the trigger. Pull I'm the like, trigger. dude, yeah. holy fuck! I thought there was he was like, and, legit gonna do it right there, but yeah, there was and, and, there was uh, no bullets in, his, in the gun. Even before that, there's a sequence when he first gets the gun from the guy, and he puts where it, he's yep. just kind of like you know running around with it, getting comfortable with it. He pulls the trigger and he actually unloads around and his into the wall. wall. <laughs> and his mom's like, "What the hell are you doing? I'm watching an old war movie." Yeah, yeah she's like, "Turn it <laughs> Turn down, Turn it down, motherfucker." Um, yeah, so which that was really cool. But anyway, um, it's one of those things where um, during this scene, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll speed it up a little bit. So during this scene, the guy who gives him the gun comes in, and there's a little, uh, there's little a, man. That, a dwarf, uh, dwarf midget, whatever, is, wow, is that's accepted really... in this day and age. I'm just yeah. saying whatever. And I'm not... I know, it's fine. He's a little guy. But, uh, he is a little person. Yeah, so, but he's dope. Uh, he's always nice to Arthur. His too. accent was, his accent's cool. Yeah. So he has like an scene, English, English Welsh accent, in the yeah. middle Scottish, somewhere in there. Um. So basically, this Hello, gentleman Alpha. tells Arthur, yeah. "Hey, the police just came. They talked to me. They we want heard, to know. You know, they heard that you had a heard, gun. Uh, and, we heard about your mom dying too. Yeah, that's why they, they came because they you know, had flowers. Like, what the fuck's going on? What are you yeah. gonna tell them? Blah blah blah. He's basically just trying to clear his name. So Arthur is like, Arthur knows what this dude is trying to do, and Arthur puts a pair of scissors in his back pocket, and once the dude starts telling Arthur, well, you got to come clean. You got to tell him what you did. Like, I, I already told him that you had a like gun. You, like, you have my back and all this yeah, stuff. And exactly. So, so, Arthur, then, you see it in this, his face. This He's big, like, this big this. fat guy that make, that's the clown mm -hmm. is, after after the fact that he gives him the gun, is a really condescending fucking dickhead. Yeah. And he basically makes it known to, to Arthur that, I mean, I don't even know what to say. Like, he doesn't have his back. He's not his actual friend because he, he, he calls him out. Well, he, he set right? him up. He set him right. Set he him set him up, and he basically tells Arthur, "Like, I set you up, and no one's gonna are, fucking know." Yeah, like I know. There's I'm, you I'm can't good. tie My that to me, clear. right? Like, and Arthur then takes the scissors and stabs the dude in the fucking right in the, eyeball. Right in the neck first. Or, or, yeah, right he in the neck. Stabs and then him in he the takes neck. It out, stabs him in right the eye, in the eye, and then stabs him in the head again. I think no, he leaves it in his eye. Oh no! And he then leaves he, it in his eye, and he takes his head. Here's a wall. <laughs> let, me, let me move this. Wall, head. A bunch of fucking times like that. Slaps that motherfucker's face and head into a wall, and he's just covered in blood. Covered in blood. There's covered in blood. spatter everywhere. The, the dude is laying mm. bleeding out. Dead as fuck on the ground, and the 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 little dude is in the. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, when when he let them both in the first time, he made sure he locked the door. 
made sure he locked the door just so he. Do you think he was planning on killing them? If before? as soon as he saw them, I p feel like he would plan on kill the tall, the the big fat guy. You think so? Fuck yeah. Yeah. As soon as so he too. saw him, he put those yeah. scissors in his pocket. Yeah. 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 I, the smaller guy, no, he was never gonna kill. Him. Yeah. He even um, said that. He said, I would, I, I would, I'm not going to hurt you because you were nothing but nice to me and type, type shit yeah. like that. This, this whole scene is beautiful to me because oh my God, this yes. guy goes down. Arthur is laying down next to he's the sit, dead body. Yeah, he's, he's sitting down up blood, against the wall. Yeah. And you hear the, this little, this little he's dude. He's hiding in a corner he's hiding, at this point. He's saying, oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, he's all scared and everything. Arthur Awful. Just, what did you do? Arthur just calmly just says. You can do you, leave. Do you go to the, or do you, uh. What does he say? Do you watch the Murray show or whatever the, the fuck? Murray the show, Murray yeah, show. Yeah. And the guy's like, uh, no, I, I don't really. He goes, I'm going to be on there tonight. Like that. And he's just talking. You should watch it. it. Yeah. And the guy's like, ah, all right, man, okay. whatever. And he, and he tells him, you can go. And the guy's he's like, like, don't ah. worry. I'm not going to kill you. So you the can, guy you walks can over to the door. He looks up and he's trying to get the he fucking lock. Can't and he can't the lock reach the fucking he's a, lock. He's a small because person. He's small. So he goes, "Hey Arthur, uh, <laughs> can you can help you me out get here? Get the door for me and everything." <laughs> and Arthur literally, and oh my god, I love this fucking scene, dude. Arthur literally is like, like, oh man, like that. And you see him smile. He looks like a little fucking kid. And he walks over to the door, and the whole time the audience member is like, "Please don't fucking kill this guy." Oh, no, like, no. no, man. I was, I hope he, I was, I was yeah, really hoping he, he, he didn't. He fucking slides the deadbolt. He opens the door. He kisses him on the head, <laughs> on the top of the head, and he goes, you were always nice to me. Get out of here. And the guy leaves, and he just lets him leave. And I fucking loved that. Fuck I yeah. loved that. The fact, because it was so, it, it was, dude, genuine it was so as fuck, Joker, man. dude. Oh, I know. Dude, when he, when, yeah, let me go ahead and let this dude out the door, because I already know I locked it. So I'm already got, I'm, he's was, busting a joke. Yeah. Like it was funny That's to him. Exactly. Well, I mean, it was so, funny. Yeah, it was, it was funny, funny in general. It was hilarious. I was laughing. He locks the door because a guy who's, who is a small person cannot, can't, can't, can't reach door. up and, and, and now unlock the himself has to get help out. him get, the, get right. out of the fucking right. house. That I mean, was, it was a funny and, situation. And to me, letting him go was more of a joke to yeah. Joker, I felt like. Because I. Uh, I yeah, I, because he's not the typical, oh, there's a short person, he can't reach the lock. Ha ha. It's more of more the it's fact that of, this guy watched you. me kill this guy. And he's not gonna I could shit. kill him, but I'm gonna let him leave. But he can't leave because I locked the door. Right. And now I unlock the door. Now he gets to leave. Right. Without me killing him, and he knows that. Yeah. So it's one of those it's things hysterical. for me where that scene was incredible. After this happens, we get the full sequence of Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. Where it flashes forward, he's walking down the steps, and he's got the full Joker garbs on. He Please tell me your mic was on the whole time. We're good for now. I'm just not going to touch it. Go ahead and talk real quick. I'm just not going to touch it. Okay, okay. It's okay. All right, cool. All right. What the fuck? I really hope that that didn't turn off at any point. It didn't. Okay. I know that I was I was looking at it. The All right, whole time, cool. So. All right, all right. So anyway, um, we flash forward and um, we get the sequence of him walking down the steps, dancing around. Singing, he's got well, a yeah, sing in his mouth. He's yeah. fucking. He's he's loving life. He knows that he's gonna kill himself on the show, and he's just embracing the final moments and shit like that. So who was the other the the lady that was on the show? I forget. It well, wasn't. Like, it wasn't that important. That was talking to uh, oh, to Murray. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. really matter. So, during this time, he's dancing. There's a dope ass song behind him. He's dancing to it. All of that apparently was improv um, uh, on the spot. That was Joaquin just feeling out the music just right being then and there. Goofy, yeah. yeah, apparently they shot it like eight times. I after wish they that. wouldn't. I was gonna say. I hope they didn't fucking choreograph that shit. No, they didn't. It was all all that of been, his dancing no, and all that. That was all that would Joaquin. have been just too dumb if they did um, that. So, yeah, so we get to the part where he's dancing. He's on the steps. He's having a great fucking time. And then people are, um... Cam oh, my shit. camera's just out. Fuck. It's okay. It's just the camera, dude. Just plug the fucking... Plug it's, my camera back in. It doesn't work like that. I would have to restart uh, OBS, so... That sucks. Anyway, well, let's just finish this up. Yep. Um, finish it up. So, he... The, the cops see him. He looks back. He starts running. They're chasing him. 
they have a really cool sequence where he's there's riots at this show. So he's going in and out between the riots. And but he was also on the on. train first. Yeah, he's on the train. They're chasing him through the train. The cops actually. Everybody um, on the train has a has a clown has mask. Has a clown on. mask on. They all realize that they're cops. They're walking through the train, saying, "Fucking, you know, Gotham PD, get on he's the train." He's got the, he's ground. got a fucking gun out. He's got a gun. He ends up accidentally shooting somebody, and then the, all of the clowns get hit. when the stop happens. All of the clowns rush those two cops out, and then they start beating the shit out of them. Joaquin Phoenix notices this, takes off a mask, and then does a little and like a little jig, and then goes to the show. This is this is the final act of the film. So the entire time, you know, he gets to the show. De Niro talks to him. They go, what the fuck's up with the Joker makeup? And he goes, oh, I don't believe in anything. I'm not political or whatever, right? It's just part of my act right. is what he says. So fast forward, fast forward. We get to where um, Joaquin is standing behind the curtain, and De Niro is about to bring out his, his character and, you know, the, he, he tells them before they do this, he goes, can you bring me out as the Joker before? And they go, like, okay, whatever. Yeah, you, so, called, me one, you called me that once before. I'd like for you to right. introduce me as the right. as Joker. And so when he comes out, they introduce him as Joker. The, the curtain is, is – before the curtain opens in this scene, and we have a photo of it right here. It's actually right on the stream right now. He does that. He has his arms up right before they're, they're going to the, – the, bring the curtain you can see him transform back into the joker now at this point and mm -hmm. he's full-fledged joker he's, he's got ready a, to come out yeah he's got a cigarette with him right they fucking open the curtain the music starts playing you see him take the cig out he flicks it back behind him and actually i noticed this you see the cigarette fall and it rolls down like mm -hmm. you know the wherever the stage whatever yeah and it's just like jesus christ like so he comes out he has this great sequence where He's waving everybody. He looks cool, calm, and collected. He's got the full fucking garbs on. Mm -hmm, Everybody's mm -hmm, looking mm -hmm. at him like, what the fuck's going on with this guy? And he walks out, and he, he kisses that old lady right in the fucking mouth. Uh, I don't even know what her I name is or whatever. Really. But they, the whole thing is like that they don't want him to be political. They don't want him to talk about the clown riots that are going it's outside. Like, yeah, that's what they were worried about the whole time is right. because he had the clown makeup on. Right. But He's but he like, keeps telling them, I don't believe in anything, so I, this is just for my act. This is for my act, yeah. yeah. This doesn't have anything to do with anything going on outside. So When, I mean, he'd started all of it. So De Niro and him have this little interview process where they're talking about just small talk things and stuff like yeah. that. And he's doing fine. He's doing a great interview. Then they start asking him to do a joke and stuff like that. And you can tell, you can tell this is starting to get on his nerves. Um, right. And he starts to, to look up through a joke, you, and he's flipping through his journal. He has a journal the entire time during this film. It's filled with a bunch of crazy shit. Just, We've already yeah. talked about it. Um, and he does a knock-knock joke. And at this point, when you're in the audience, you go, Oh, shit, he's about to kill himself. he's about to kill himself now. Mm -hmm. Like, because the entire film, it sets up for this moment. And De Niro says something to him where I feel like at this moment in time, it completely changes his perception on, on what he's about to do. Yep. Um, De Niro goes, you had to look that up. And then everybody starts laughing and everything. And you can see in Joaquin Phoenix's face, he goes, you can see this realization of I'm only here to get made fun of. Yep. I'm not here to be funny. I'm not here to. I'm not here because people actually like me or, right. wanna, I'm not or here actually want to listen to me. me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm here to. As a fucking, you know, target as a fucking, board. Yeah. Yeah. As a so Joaquin does this thing where it kind of goes off script for De Niro. And you can tell De Niro is like, what the fuck's going what, yeah, on what now? What the fuck's going on? Where he goes, let me do another joke. And, and, <sighs> and like, and then he does. There's three guys on the subway. Right. And, and he starts talking about that shit. You see the producer of the show in the background, uh, backstage. And he's telling De Niro, cut it. We got to get this guy off here. And De Niro just lets it ride. What the fuck was that? Something back there. I don't know. De Niro just lets it ride. De Niro just lets it ride. And um, Joaquin fucking keeps going. Keeps talking about keeps how. Keeps talking about how people suck. Yep. Everybody's changed. How society Nobody's sucks. Decent Everybody out, out there is a fucking piece of shit. They're all animals. Nobody's like people, paying like attention. Fucking ten year old, fourteen year olds beating the shit out of them on a fucking right. street. 
in an alley. So De Niro says, well, it sounds like you need help, man. You got to go and, and talk to somebody and, and figure that stuff out. And he goes, well, we can't because they cut the funding for all of it. And then you start they, yeah, to because see. Because he, he did. He was yeah. seeing a therapist. And you see Joaquin do like you, you literally see him unbutton his entire consciousness yeah. during this interview and it's crazy because it just keeps it's like a snowball dude it just keeps getting crazier and crazier so it gets to this point where um he, he's about to tell his other joke and he goes i i don't know exactly what he, i don't remember exactly what I don't he says but he word says for like words. what do you get when you have a loner where everyone in society completely disregards him and, you know, and everyone walks all over him and thinks he's a piece of shit or whatever. And that's not what he actually says. I, I you know, I'm butchering right. it a little bit. But, every, you know, he doesn't even give Murray any time to fucking respond. And he takes out the gun and he goes, you get what you fucking deserve. And he shoots Robert De Niro right in the fucking face. And then he stands up and starts unloading on his body like three more times. Well, he sat down. Well, he's no, he stayed sitting, right? He stayed, he stayed sitting, sitting the after he shot he him in the points, head. Yeah, he points. He to stayed the first sitting. Everybody's shoot. freaking out. Everybody's yeah. fucking running around. Yeah. As soon as he gets up to leave, he stands up and just shoots him three more times. Yeah. He's already fucking dead. Right. After three minutes of people freaking out, right. running out of the fucking studio. So everybody's running out of the studio, and what does Joker do? He does the best fucking thing that they could ever think of that Joker would ever do, because this is exactly what Joker would do. He walks straight up to the fucking camera and he grabs it and he starts laughing. And right before he's about to break into a monologue, security fucking tackles him and, it, and the, the fucking shit goes to, uh, like, you know, the no signal. Technical yeah, yeah. Difficulties. But this weird sequence happens afterwards, where, which is really fucking cool. It's the TV. It's all the TV monitors of mm -hmm. every fucking news station and everything. And it's panning out, and it and you see different sections of what actually happened during that part I wanna, of time. I want to go back and fucking yeah. watch that. Because I was putting it together. I was looking at him when he grabs the, the, the camera. Mm -hmm. He gets tackled by security. And then that one will shut off. But the other one will pop up. He'll get tackled by security. And he's and getting he's, and he's he still getting arrested. Up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, and then the final that was one. Awesome, I don't know if you saw it, but the final one ends with him having the camera he starts laughing maniacally and then he goes you know i just can't and then it, go, it, it gets yep. turned on and i'm like oh my god this is so cool so then like i said the movie's almost over here guys so <laughs> we're really diving into the third oh, yeah. act here but i love the third act it's my favorite Fuck yeah. so he's getting police escorted out he's been arrested he's been arrested he's in the back of a squad car there's fires there's riots there's people with fucking tear gas and shit just running around acting crazy the cops, you hear on the radio, like, oh, my God, no, 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 we need people here, stat, whatever police say, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> so, so the police, uh, you hear Joker laughing and shit like that, and I guess it's just because he's in a situation and his condition kicked in. But he laughs, and, uh, and people are like, or, or the cop goes, look what you did, you fucking asshole. And he goes, I know, isn't it beautiful? Like that, and it's just so it's good. It's so fucking cynical. And the fucking streets are burning. People are flipping fucking cars. People yeah. are just going nuts on the city. Yeah, and right there you think that it, the movie's going to end. But what the fuck happens? A big-ass ambulance comes out of nowhere and fucking... Annihilates the cop yeah, car. Yeah, T-bones the car. And who's driving it? A bunch of people wearing clown masks. Awesome. They pull him out of the back seat. Yep. Lay him on the hood of the cop car until yep. he wakes up, and they just circle him. Yep. And as soon as he comes to, and he wakes up, he stands right on the fucking hood of that cop car, Starts bro. Starts fucking dancing. Starts fucking dancing on the hood of the cop Starts car. Starts dancing, and then realizes these are the people who understand understand him. me and notice me, and I I am theirs. Mm -hmm. Like, and what does he do? He takes his fucking blood from the from his mouth because he's, he's in a car accident. He's got his hand, his fingers in his in his hand, or whatever. Make sure that I should, okay. Uh, he's got all that in his fucking fingers and all that shit. And then he fucking puts the smile on by putting the blood on his cheeks to make it look like he's smiling. I, I loved that, dude. That was I was so like, good, oh dude. my god, wow! Like they just it just kept getting better. It was like uh, having a bowl of ice cream and somebody just keeps putting sprinkles on it and then oh whipped cream and then you want a cherry and shit like that that's not me it's fine 
Um, so yeah, it was definitely really interesting seeing that kind of shit. So afterwards, after all this happens, we fast forward to Joaquin Phoenix laughing in an asylum. And there's an interview, uh, E or whatever the fuck interviewer. Yeah, and whatever. A therapist, whatever. And he's laughing and she goes, what's so funny? And he goes, I just thought of a joke. And during this sequence. You wouldn't get it. During the sequence, we see. Oh, fuck my bad. No, you're fine. During the, the sequence, we see right when he says, um, I was thinking about a joke, it flashes to fucking, or it's right before it, either or, you see Martha, Thomas, and Bruce come out of the theater that they were in, and a dude, the dude who dragged Joker out of the car uh, when he gets hit walks behind them, and he shoots Thomas Wayne, and he shoots fucking Martha, and XP. kills also, his fucking parents. Also, he he talked about that on the Murray show. What? About Thomas Wayne. Right, my bad. So yeah, that's he, how... He says Thomas Wayne can't help us. That's uh, how know. he... Um, that's how he got into that, that like, scenario. Right. The guy saw Thomas Wayne leaving the thing, and he goes, you can't help us, and then shot him. Yeah. And Mar- him and Martha. Yeah. So there's the culmination of fucking Batman. Right, yeah, but, Batman is born But it in this only film. had seven to eight seconds of airtime on that. Yeah. Every time. So it It was like sprinkles on ice cream, man. It was great. It touched Batman kinda it touched no, it, it touched Bruce Wayne, Thomas Wayne, Martha Wayne. That was it. It touched yeah. it got off, it came back to Joker. You it, it it did it in it paid it enough homage to, to be like, you know, this is how he's going to start, too. You yep. just don't, you know, you know that story, so you don't have Wait, to Yeah, see everybody it. knows that story. Right. It's yeah, come about We're fucking 80 Twitter. times. Right. So it shows that happen. Then it cuts back to Joker, and he says, you wouldn't get it. And that's why he thinks it's funny that Bruce Wayne now is going through everything that essentially he is going through. He's, he's going through trauma as a child now. Yep. Um. So Joker and Batman are of the same coin uh it, so know, he Batman thinks his heads and jokers is tails like right and honestly it's the same joker's, coin it's just obvious uh, like yeah, you said joker's two different sides story in this very very close to batman trauma wise mm-hmm. it's just joker takes a different path right instead it, batman takes trauma and and utilizes it to, to make it's it also into something different good. it's also different trauma he yeah. sees his parents get shot joker kills his parents his mom yeah yeah um, but yeah, so anyway, still in that moment when his parents and parent died, yeah, still there. Um, but the therapist goes like, you know, what's so funny? He goes, he thinks of that. And then he goes, you want to get it. And then it cuts to him walking out of the, that room and there's bloody footprints, bloody footprints that he's leaving. Dude. And so essentially we, he, he killed he, her to believe that. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other crazy twist before we end it here is that during the movie, there's a woman that Joker's Lives in involved his building. with. Yeah. Lives right down the hall. You find out that she actually isn't involved with him. It's all been a delusion that he has conceived himself. Um, this woman did not exist in his life whatsoever yeah. besides living in the exact same building. Yeah, there's a scene. He actually was in her apartment sitting yeah. on the couch. She she laid her daughter down to sleep, and she walks in the other room. He's just sitting there on the couch, just sitting there. And she, like, freaks out, and she goes, you're Arthur, aren't you? You live down the hall in such and such room. Yeah, is your mom there? Is your, is your mom there? And, like, is like, she no, okay? She Can she come yeah. get you? It's like, no, she's dead now. Mm-hmm. Or some some of the yeah. sort, dude. She and was it's freaky. fucking cr- like you can see the terror you in can, her face. And then it, 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 like, it, it, shifts, it shifts to other scenes. Like she was there at the at the comedy club, she was there at the hospital when his mom was there, and where else was she? There was another place that she was at. Uh, remember, the park bench. They, it was like uh, the park bench or something like that. Well, the park bench. Remember when they're looking at the the um where it says killer clown, and she goes, "Well, I think what he did was heroic and stuff like that." She was oh, the newspaper stand. Newspaper that. stand. Yep. So um, they they flashed to that with her there. With her at, at all four of those scenes, they'll flash to his face, and then they'll they'll they'll, wi- they'll bring it back to widescreen again. And she's not there. Yeah, she was he's... never there. She was 
It was, she was yeah. always a delusion. So that's a big ass twist as well that they drop on you before all of that, and that contributes to Joker essentially before he goes on the show. That's why he's like, "Fuck all this," yeah, or whatever. So shit was bonkers. Um, yeah, and then the movie ends. Honestly, it ended kind of on a light note where Joker walks out. He's, he's going running to escape down the, hall. the asylum. He runs down the hall. Then you see him run down the other way, and there's, <laughs> there's security, security guards chasing, chasing after him. Then he, he runs. runs back it's like a Scooby Doo yeah. kind of thing, and I, I thought it was cool. Like I thought that was a, a good way to end it. Some yeah. people said that that felt tacked on too. They wanted it to end when he said you wouldn't understand or whatever. That would have been all right, that but I cool. think it would have it should have ended with him walking down the hall with the bloody footprints. I yeah, I like the way it ended because it kind of ended on a joke. Yep. Like it was kind of like ah, like. And now he's out. Like you know, <laughs> he just you, killed her. Now he's trying to escape. Like what right, the fuck? yeah. And um, and all in all, guys, that's the fucking film. That's the film, right? It there. was so good. It was so. We good. may not have, uh, you know, like, given you the the proper. Well, that's because explanation. I didn't, yeah, I didn't want to go into like, like a fucking two hour thing about oh, it. I want you all to go. No, and I'm see saying it. like just proper explanation to where like it's it's heartfelt here. Go see the movie. Yeah, I, I that to shit was semi vague. So good. Yeah, because it, it's I, one of those movies that it, going it, again Tuesday. I'm going. Yeah, I want to go as well. I'm I'm, I'm off at going. five o'clock probably. Yeah, I'm trying to go. Um, okay. I, it's been a while since I've wanted to have conversations about a movie that are this detailed that you yeah, like that, that you saw that you actually enjoyed this much. Mm-hmm. There, it's been a long time. Eve, and I, I'm sorry, Marvel, but even with Marvel movies, it's been a long time this one since I've heard audible gasps in from the, the theater, audience. Besides applause. Audi- yeah, audience members would literally go, you would hear, <gasps> and shit like At that. At some of the shit that he says and does, dude. It was Yeah, and people were laughing. Fucking nuts, dude. And, and stuff like that, and it's just... It was just a very, very well, put well together. done. Film. It was so well put together. Coming from someone like Todd Phillips, who's made Hangover, Due Date, um, Hangover Two, Hangover Those Three, kind of comedies, comedy movies like that, where to be this fucking serious. I was so surprised. I was I knew very it was impressed. Be good, I knew, but I didn't know it was going to be like that I good. said. I was hating on it, but like. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were. When I told, but, right? Out. But I always told you, I'm like, that's I know right. it's. Go- I'm gonna hate on it, but I know it's gonna be good, mm-hmm. and I'm it gonna go mind. see it. It blew my- and it be- fucked me up, dude, dude. That shit was crazy. Everybody that we went with afterwards, every single person said, "I knew it was gonna be good, but that shit blew my fucking mind." Yeah. Like I did not think it was gonna be that yeah. good. And um, I think that's Joaquin I Phoenix, that's best it. Joker. Fantastic. I honestly no, best best actor to play Joker. Mm. Ever, so, um, I'm your your honest opinion. I would say Heath Ledger, Joaquin, right, fucking under him. Yeah, right. But and the reason for that for me is both of them deal with such realism when it comes to that character. Yeah, that um, I think I like Heath Ledger's a little bit better because it's a little bit more comic booky. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, remember the scene with Heath Ledger where he's hanging upside down and he's like, ah! <laughs> yeah. Like, well, that's oh because all the all the deaths that the Joker have gone through was usually it. falling from things. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. Almost every time he's he's, that, he's that died, acid. it's been a yeah. like a clock tower off a building. Yeah. 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 There's only been like a couple times where he's like been shot or something. Yeah, and 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 like and it's, I said, and it's like, oh, it's a minuscule amount Heath, of time. It's Heath like Ledger's once. Joker is like the Joker is like Joaquin Phoenix's Joker after Joaquin Phoenix has been Joker for like ten years. Yeah, and that's yeah, what yeah, he turns yeah, yeah, into. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. So it's well, just that's different. honestly you can probably put Dark Knight after after the fucking after Joker because Batman's in it. Even I mean, obviously, it's not going to age yes like no. that. Yeah, yes yeah, yeah. and no. Yeah. Like I, I tell you what, and I mean, this is I'm. They've already said like Todd Phillips is like I don't think I'm going to, but another I one. would love, dude. I would love just, another one. Just do, and I mean, it doesn't have to be like a franchise film, dude. No. But it's it's like one of those things where just do one more sequel. Have Batman in there. And make it a 1980s like Batman and Joker go head to head. Yeah. Like that'd be and, cool. But I get it if you don't want to. The film's so you good can, by You itself. can leave it how it is right now. <laughs> it's so you good. You can. And if you decide to make a sequel, make sure it doesn't fucking suck. 
I don't think it would. I don't think it would either. I, and, I'm just and saying. And honestly, if you make I'm a just sequel, saying, there's wait a lot, like three years. There's a wait lot of sequels years. that blow. Yeah, like, wait three years, let people ride this fucking movie out and get back on a hype train if, if we do see a teaser or something for it. And if not... I don't care, man. I was really fucking blown away with this film. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed I loved it. it. Um, so every fucking bit of it, I loved. I did not hate anything about this movie. That's our breakdown of Joker, guys. Apex season three and our sober October. I know I haven't really been vlogging too much this weekend for sober October, but it's honestly just because I'm like I'm on Twitch and stuff all the time. Uh, I don't know. Damn. If, if people if people want to ask me about sober October and stuff, you can just ask it to me on twitch and everything I'll, but i'll probably do vlogs during the week like in the morning and stuff i've been just, waiting for you to do that i well i, I, I have, have been i have i have four days up i just haven't done it for the past like three just because it's the weekend i'm like hanging huh. out you know whatever they're all on my twitch it's in a collection it's called i'll have to October. look at it yeah i mean whatever dude it's just me talking for three minutes right but i want to i still want to watch yeah, it because it's that fine. <laughs> um but yeah, um, that's the fucking podcast. I got a fucking piss like a I race too, horse, dude. dude. Jesus. Um, yeah, Road Room Podcast, Road episode Room fifteen. Podcast, episode fifteen. This was fun. Joker it was breakdown. just me and Tyler this time. That yeah. was a really fucking good one. I, it got serious. Yeah, it did. It I, got serious. I I really, I don't know. Whenever you and me do one where it's just me and you, I always have a good time. Yeah. Like I, well, this is the first time we've. And we're stone cold you. sober the entire time. <laughs> that sucks, but. Oh no, it was good. Why we- so serious? <laughs> God, I want to fucking watch that again. Go see the fucking movie. I might watch Dark Knight tonight. Dark Knight's a great film. I might. Um, go watch the movie, guys. It, it, tell us what you think in our chat and everything. Please. Um, if you're playing Apex whether you, and everything. Wh- whether you have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, yeah. let us know what you think. We'll post Just some pictures. Just message us. Tag us on Facebook. Yeah. Do Tag anything. us on Twits. Twit, Twitter. Uh, follow us on Twitter. We need some more followers. We do. Guys. We do. We, we only got fucking followers. seven, dude. Follow us on yes. Twitter. Yeah. It's Roach Room, Roach Room Podcast. Let's set a goal for like in two weeks. Let's have 20 followers. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like that that's palpable. Yeah. So let's add an overlay on there for next yeah. week. Fucking Roach. Yeah. That's actually really good. Oh, well, we got Twitter. I know, but like seven out of 20. Like, let's get oh, it up. Oh, true. Let's I get it up that. there. I'll get that there. Um, Roach Room Podcast on Spotify. Roach Room Podcast on any kind of social that you could possibly imagine. It's all Roach Room Podcast now. We've officially changed that. We are still not on iTunes. I don't know why. iTunes refuses to let our artwork be on there. They don't like it's it. It's the Nick's, artwork? Yeah, now they're telling me it's the fucking artwork. It needs to be saved in RGB form. So, Nick Forbes, if you fucking listen to this, link up with me and we'll try and get something worked out. I want to get this fucking podcast on iTunes, guys. I'm really fucking trying hard. I submit yeah. it every fucking Monday, dude, and they always <laughs> tell me you suck. So um, we don't suck. That, I know we that don't much. And sometimes, and our, oh yeah, I don't fucking know. I don't know. We didn't really like get really explicit this episode. Last episode, we were talking about butthole tattoos and shit, and, and dick tattoos and fucking rubber was, dildos. I had were, a fucking dude. That was a blast, blast last week. Last week, dude, even though we were so talking fun. about fake dicks. Yeah, and and honestly, guys, the only reason why other people aren't here this week is because nobody else could go out and see Joker. We would have had Lee Ball, we, Purdy, well, uh, yeah, Purdy, Nick, Purdy had uh, he had prior. Yeah, he was hanging out with the um, girl, his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is hey, well, his girlfriend had prior plans that he didn't know about until recently. But, his girlfriend's but nice still. as shit. She rules, dude. Oh, I ain't gonna get mad about Gap's that. Gap's cool. Yeah. Dude, when, when we went to pools and she poured that beer for me and everything the first time, I was like, thank you so much. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I love her, dude. She's awesome. Yeah, that's, um, that's the episode, That's everybody. the episode, guys. Everybody follow us. Uh, we'll be Go live see on Joker, Apex bro. And Go see fucking Joker. Baltimore Ravens kick some Steeler ass right now. It's kickoff right now. Joaquin Phoenix, you did a Fucking, fucking fantastic love job, you, man. Tom Phillips and uh, Scott, whatever the fuck your name is, who wrote the script with him. You guys fucking killed it, dude. Nine out of ten for me. Ten out of ten for fuck Chris. the negative critics. Yeah, uh, mental health awareness. Everybody, go get checked out. Eat a Prozac. <laughs>